Gorilla tells me he was at a bar. Yeah. Uh, it was the club that I've been working at, Club Expo. What do you do there? You just appear? Yeah, they, uh, well, they actually, like, um, I got a job there. I'm, I'm, what, I'm what do you do? Working the door, the VIP, I'm working and the VIP door. In the urinals. You work the VIP door? Yeah. You open and close it? Well, I, 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 they give me a list. <laughs> you're and the doorman. Sure yeah, pretty much. Oh, you're the guy. But it, it's a steady what, paying gig, you know? What, what is it? They gave it to you so that you'll announce it? You, you no, no, not at all, not at all. No, but I'm saying you announce it at the end on the radio. Yeah, that's just for the first couple of weeks right now. And, and do people come in to see you? I have no idea. There's so many people there. <laughs> Does anyone ever say, hey, I heard on the radio Steve Gorilla is here? A lot of the employees. Oh, but no, no, no one. Ever... I, I don't, I don't, I didn't meet anybody. No, there, actually, no, I did, I did. I, I met a couple people there this Friday night that actually did say they heard it. Oh, I see. Me. The first time I didn't, but it was packed wall to wall. People. So you got a job there as a doorman, and then they said, "Hey, money." Well, no, the, I, it's the same guy that hired me that owns a club that owns a, another club in Brooklyn that I worked at. I, that I did appearance. You got at. dry mouth, dude. Yeah. Yeah, dude. Sorry. What are you drinking all weekend? No, not at all. I'm just wondering if can these people who might hear it on the radio even get to the VIP room? Yeah, it's just it's hard to explain how the the club is situated, but they could. Oh, okay. <laughs> anyway, uh, so Pamela Anderson <laughs> ran into uh, the club where Gorilla works, and how did you end up hanging out with her for an hour? Like, how did you convince her you were somebody? I I, I didn't. I, when she came in, I had met her that morning. I said, um, and she I'm, remembered you. No. Um, technically, I doubt it, but I... Uh, technically, technically, <laughs> technically, I doubt it. Technically, I doubt it. But, what does uh, that mean? No, I, I don't know. Uh, I, said, uh, I said, I said, how you doing? I said, I met you this morning, you know. <laughs> Have you met from, the English uh, Howard's language? Radio show. No, not yet. <laughs> My mouth dry? <laughs> I said, I said, um, I, I work on Howard's Radio Show. I met you this morning. She turned, she goes, oh, I said, yeah. I met you this morning. Technically. Technically, I met you this morning. Technically, we have friends. And what happened? She hung out with you? Like, was she, what was she wearing? <laughs> what was she? <laughs> she was wearing. <laughs> 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 All of a sudden, she was in buttons. <laughs> 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 Technically, <laughs> well, she was just wearing like a, a leather vest. Was just that sitting like that, like what she was wearing here? But pretty much, but I don't know. The cleavage was just a was lot it the more. The same leather tight. vest. I don't know. I don't think so. It was a lot tighter. Did she like get dialed up and go out to clubs and then like guys just stand there and go crazy over her? There, there was so many guys just standing there. What does she do at a club? She I mean, just, like, what if she's there for an hour, what does she do? Anyone? She was with Brett Michaels. Brett Michaels. Do they dance? No, they just hung out and drank and basically talked with each other. They would. I don't understand something. Why do I, they need to do that in public? Yeah, I don't. I mean, maybe I'm missing it. I just said maybe they wanted to go out on a club scene. But, but like, if they don't talk to anybody. And they hang out in the VIP room. And the whole time people are just coming in and staring at them. You got me, man. Why do they get off on that? I don't get off on that. So how was Brett? Brett was actually a really f cool guy. He, Is he losing his hair? Uh, he had a bandana and a cowboy hat on. Yeah, he always oh has boy. a bandana on. Yeah. yeah, that means it's gone. He had a bandana. That means it's way gone. He's got two things covering his head. Yeah, meanwhile, he's sleeping with her. Yeah. <laughs> he's, very, he's very smug about it, too. Very yeah. smug, yeah. Yeah, what did he say? I'm going to go home and have sex with her? Yeah, he goes, yeah, man, it's 3 o'clock. I'm kind of tired. I'm a little horny. I'm going to go back to the hotel room and have sex with her. See you later, man. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, Braggart. Like, See ya. I was like, oh, man. Every well, that, that's like if you had to have a full head of hair, you don't have to uh, do that. You really think he did that? That's his head of hair. <laughs> but, like, I, she's totally digging him, too. I mean, he's a good-looking guy. Yeah. Is he? I yeah. don't know. He's, I don't know him that well. But I'm better looking. She was, she was, uh... She was <laughs> I'm so handsome. <laughs> she, she was telling me how much she digs you. What did she say, man? She, she so was, what happened? Like, where did she tell you this? Well, so, they, I, like, the owner said, you know, why don't you bring them up? To the, to the VIP section, and they were talking. I said, so, did you have fun this morning? She goes, oh, he's so wonderful. He's such a great guy. She goes, I don't understand why I did any other talk show. They're all so phony, and I come there, and he's so real, and he asked me good questions, and he's just the best. And, and then, really? like, Brett was like, yeah, Howard's the best, man. Like, I don't know who loved you more, Brett or... Pound. Well, that's cool that Brett is man enough to say in front of his woman, in front of his he, lady. He likes you. Yeah, I guess yeah. guys aren't that threatened by me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, he doesn't figure she's running off with you. Yeah, I he's guess. not sitting there going, hey, man, you sh Axel Rose is the greatest guy in the world. Right. He I told guess. me about his car accident, too. Oh, yeah, didn't he, like, kill someone or something? No, he, he wrapped the Ferrari around the pole, but he lost all his front teeth. Oh, he's not the guy who had no, a he, someone... that was the Motley Crue guy. Oh, Motley Crue guy. Yeah, he, he was like... He's he lost all his front teeth? Ew. He said they're all fake and everything. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Does he take them out? Cool. No, I was hoping he would. <laughs> he's no hair, no teeth. <laughs> he's got like a hundred-year-old man. Yeah. So, like, all the bouncers are there, like, that were there are all from Brooklyn. Yeah. So they're all, like, as soon as they left, 
I can't believe that he's with Hulk. Yeah, right. I will squash him. I will kill him. Yeah. That is wrong. Yeah. That is so wrong. Yeah, they're all talking about how they should be with her. With her. Well, uh, they, they use the F word and everything. Yeah, right, word. right, right. I can't believe. No. Mother effer. Right. Mother effer. <laughs> yeah, right. All angry. And... Yeah, are you kidding? <laughs> they, they were all fired up. They like, she got every guy in that place so sexed up. That's why I'm glad. I'm not single, because if I was with her, guys would just start beating me up. But wait a minute. There's no difference between leaving here and leaving that club. I go in there after a pretty girl's been in there. You are all violent. Oh, yeah, we're violent. We get violent. I'm like, <laughs> yeah. I could, I, I'm, I, this is what happens. After Pamela Anderson leaves what? here. What? I would boot a hook. I, I stand here, and I just go, I don't believe she said she'd go out. And I can't believe. And I start banging the table and yeah. going, I can't believe so I could get her. This last time was. Oh, you know, because it's always what you would do. Yeah. You know how yeah. would you how you would drive that car? And it's always a violent <laughs> it's always a violent sex act. Right. It's almost bordering yeah. on, on on abuse. Yeah, and for her that day when I walked in, it was I'd something about what you were going to do to those lips. I'd smack her in the head fifty times. <laughs> I'm always like banging her head into a wall. Right, you're killing them. I t yeah, I started telling Robin, tell him what bad shape I am. I'm telling a girl what I'd do to her lips. Oh. What was I going to do to her lips? Do you remember? Oh uh, no, you just you, usually what you do is say first you're standing. And, and I'm like moaning. This, and you got your, your pelvis stuck out. <laughs> so, oh, man, what I would do to those lips. <laughs> yeah, and it ain't oh, with my what lips. What are you going to do to those lips? <laughs> Rip them off her face. <laughs> Put them in a jar of formaldehyde. And then Jackie times in. Yeah. Yeah. licking. What would happen to her if she did a split? <laughs> oh, yeah, what was your, Jackie's a weird guy. She has weird sexual thoughts. Yeah, what was your whole thing? You were moaning about her doing a split. No, I made an old joke. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I think he like goes, wouldn't it be great? She was a oh, gymnast. Man. She was a gymnast. And yeah. I it, wanted to really see her do a back bend. Yeah, then her breast would have popped out of her shirt. Oh, man. Well, Jackie's really angry. I really we tried to get it. Done, could we have together. moved something? <laughs> we could have done tumbling. We all Fred, back. Even Fred was moaning. And Fred, oh, yeah. Fred doesn't really say what he'd do to her, though. No, he's just no. agreeing. You know, he right, yeah. agrees with everybody around the room as they're raping and I can't compete with Jackie on that because he's licking her after she's done strange things. <laughs> yeah. strange That's places. true. I That's can't true. compete with after that. After she goes to the I bathroom. I start to fantasize, and then I get nauseated. After again. she goes to the bathroom, here's what I'm going to do. Oh. <laughs> Strange enough to keep me away. Yeah, right. That's Jackie. <laughs> There's no scenario strange enough. I don't care what you say. <laughs> yeah, I finally find... And then it's somewhere about ten minutes into the discussion... Somehow I find something that I won't do to Pamela Anderson, right. and Jackie looks at me like I'm a jerk. He goes, what's the, oh, what's the matter with you? That's, I'd, I'd pay to do that. Yeah, like, I'm a homo. Yeah. There's always at one point where Jackie talks, and everybody just goes, huh? Yeah, yeah it always gets a little too sick. Right. <laughs> I like to get her in bed with a dog. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. She's hot or she's not, guys. <laughs> Putting his tongue in weird places. Oh, man. I At weird time. I do not rescind one thing I said. <laughs> so how long was she talking about me for? For a good five, ten minutes. Really? She was like, every time I go on someone else's show, it's not the same thing. It's oh. just like, and I, she just got off doing the John Stewart show. And from what I understand, like, there was a little tension between her and John or something like that. And oh, it didn't yeah. go good. So she was, like, totally even digging you twice as well. Oh. What kind of shoes was she wearing? What kind of pants? A straight I, I, pants? Cu I couldn't get that far. Yeah. She was wearing a little skirt. She wears toe rings. She had a little skirt on. Oh, she had a little skirt on? Little oh, skirt. she saw her legs? Yeah. Was, was she wearing stockings? I don't think so. Oh. <laughs> a very tan, muscular. Did you take any uh, pictures? No, I didn't take any She's pictures. She's a actually, actually, they, they did take pictures for the club, and the owner lived, you know, said get one, so I did. She ought to call me up. I might have to uh, cheat with her. <laughs> I, I, I'm going to do it. Well, she didn't say she would cheat with you. She would. Oh. I think she would. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. Hey, I think so. I, think I felt that it. the situation. Technically. <laughs> I, am a right, I, can't talk, I, I want you out of here. I can't talk right. about this anymore. I won't be able to do the show. <laughs> yeah. Short skirt, no stockings. Yeah. Give me access. What is this? Oh, there's Ralph with Pamela. Oh, whoa. Oh, he got his pictures developed? Oh, this is funny. <laughs> I gotta see it. Look at Ralph, his stupid, goofy face. Look at that. <laughs> Yeah. Oh man! Like, oh, stop! Rip that up! Right. You see I gotta him and take a look at that. Her. Yeah, look at that. It's like, it's like oh, she's hugging she's you. Draped it's like all over him. How'd you get her? How'd you get her draped all over you? I sat down next to her, right? Yeah. And I, I didn't want to put my arm around her or anything. So she she jumps over next to me. She goes, "Oh, I have to put my arm around you." See the one picture where she's leaning on my shoulder? Yeah. She's rubbing my back too. Yeah, so I was about oh. I was about to pass out. You think she digs you? No. no. I think oh, you sure? Nobody she, asked you, Robin. She wouldn't just rub any guy's back. I think, no, no. I think she digs 
making guys like yeah. Ralph almost pass out. Yeah, yeah. I mean, because it just, it just proves that she's awesome. I was dizzy well into Saturday. Well, I know. he couldn't stop talking about her. He told me he had to go through the whole ph photographic session with me, tell me everything that happened. Well, right. Ralph is so shallow that all he cares about is whether a woman is, you know, perfect looking. Right. But no. he doesn't care about their personality yeah, or anything. Come on, she had a good personality. You no, know, but you're really shallow. I mean, you, you, you admit it. You're, he's a very shallow guy. He's yeah. really into, you know, he's a guy that does makeup. Yeah, he's always picking people apart. He's into, like, physical beauty. Even though he has so He's many perfect. flaws. <laughs> I'm so perfect that I insist that everyone around. So, you know, he was like, you know, oh, you know, he's the kind of guy who would marry a girl and then if she got in a car accident, he would leave her. <laughs> because he couldn't handle it. Goodbye. Yeah. But well, you would never marry anyone unless they were this perfect, right? You would marry her. Yeah. Yeah. But, yeah, he told me he this girl, he yeah. could be monogamous, he could live with her the rest of his life. Yeah. <laughs> No, he's not. No, yeah, because she's gonna get old. Uh, when he get his teeth, not for a while. Yeah, <laughs> no, she's gonna she's gonna look good for a while. It's some great inter. I mean, in terms of gorgeous people, it just worked out that way. They were I know. All what are you talking about? Christine, I find very attractive. That's Scott's intern. Yeah. And uh, Tracy. Tracy. And Eliana. And Sandy. Sandy. Very nice group. What a pack. What All hardworking, all hardworking gals, but always fun to look at. Who want to be taken seriously? You bet. And who I find most of the time listening to Gorilla crying about his terrible schedule. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I I always go back. To, I know the interns work hard, but it seems like when I go back there, they're all sitting and, and talking to Gorilla. Yeah. <laughs> and Gorilla's in there, whining about how hard he has it. Oh, I just can't get any sleep. Of course, everyone says, "Well, then you work for free." What? <laughs> <laughs> And why are you doing it? And I have no money. Yeah. I, <laughs> but how can anyone feel bad for him because he's doing this voluntarily? I mean, why? Every morning he's given a sob story and they're in there listening to But it. how can they listen to that? Because the fame is a drug. That's I know. It yeah, it's the like they want to be on. And they're all saying, I understand what you're saying. I can understand that. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Very funny what goes on. I'm going to lock them all in a rubber room. <laughs> this is a rubber room. I'm on the air to complain. I'd like to hear that. Yeah, because he's laying in there. You know, he's always at your desk. Right. You know, because he's on a power trip in the morning. So yeah. he goes and sits at your desk and leans back and puts his feet up. Not What's your that? desk anymore. Kathy Tobin's desk. Now. Yeah. And he puts his feet up and he has the lights out. And he's talking to them in the dark. Where, where is this? <laughs> when does this go on? This goes on just before you get here. Oh, oh. really? Yes, this is what I come into every morning. <laughs> well, and who's he talking to? Isn't he the Christine only one in here? Dean is sitting there, and he's saying, oh, I'm so tired. Yeah, because he's hoping she's going to get it on with him. And, you know, it's just I so I need someone hard. to relax me. <laughs> and I don't know how I'm going to get through the day. So are you going to go to your classes? Oh, I guess I'll go to this one or that one. But I really got to get some sleep. <laughs> yeah, you know what it is. He's trying to get it on oh, with Christine. Yeah. I didn't know Christine was here that early. Life. I didn't know she was here that early. Well, rarely. Oh, All right. Oh. <laughs> the other day I was watching Girl in Action with Christine. Yeah. <laughs> like, you know what that is. He's just trying to get it on with Oh, no, no, no. This, get her in a dark room. Now. This is a great one. He's like, yo, I know the best place for wings. You got to come with me. It's the best wings you'll ever eat. Yeah, he's trying. <laughs> Dude, why don't you give up on her? She's never going to go for you, you jackass. See, now he vehemently denies that he wants her, which only right. makes it makes makes a fun. But you're still trying. You want her so bad, dude. You never do that with I guys know. sitting there and asking them to go get wings with you, and you sit there in the dark and start moaning. I, I, <laughs> so been, tell been, me, been, oh, why do you do it with her? I've been your boy for five doing? years. You ever invite me for wings? <laughs> you ever want to go? <laughs> why do you, I don't know. You never ask. So why, so I go, I, why I do you drunk? deny you want her so bad? Well, I like hanging out with her. What's the big deal? Yeah, because you're in love with her. No, I'm not. She's a guy. I'm not. What's wrong with being in love with her? She's gorgeous. I'm not. She's very pretty, but I'm not in love with her. <laughs> she's in a day I don't go by thinking not, about her. Sure. But then that's you. But I like hanging out with her. She's fun to hang out. I want to hang out with her. But if she doesn't like you, how could she be fun to hang out with? She is. She's a fun person to hang out with. It's right fact no one else is that much fun. Like John isn't as much fun as her. Well, yeah, John is. I, but John has yeah. his own thing. Oh, and doesn't Christine have her own thing? And Christine's closer to my age. He wants that thing. Oh, I saw. Oh, you mean John's too old for you? No, John. <laughs> she has a couple of. Why do you got to do this to me? Why do you, you got to do this? <laughs> what do you mean? Why do Why do we have to do anything? You sit back there and you hold court with Christine. No one no, else. I go in there. I'm waiting for you to call. Yeah. Okay. So I get all my duties done that I have to do. <laughs> Your ablution. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> my duties. I get all my duties. What are your duties? 
<laughs> well, you get your duty done. I and believe then, me, then, Howard, I have, on the days I, that Christine is not here, the lights are on and he's oh, sitting up reading the newspaper. Oh, but on the crap. days that she's here, he's laying there oh, in the my dark God. whining. Right. You're such a liar. You're such a loser. <laughs> I want you to not. make you like her and ask her what? out on a date. No. I, because. I, Why are you playing you games? You know what? I learned what? something early on. I'm not playing games. I'm going to tell you a story that happened to me. I was in college and I found out from a friend of mine, a girl. This girl was roommates with another girl. This girl was the campus goddess, okay? She comes up to me and says, she really likes you. She's attracted to you. I go, you're kidding. And none of this ever happened to me. I go, you're kidding. So I wouldn't even go up to her. I'm playing games. And you know what I did? I knocked on her door. And I said, I'm taking a survey for the school. <laughs> and I started playing all these games. And she said to me, you know what? Why are you playing games? You know I like you. You heard I liked you. Why are you acting like you're conducting a survey? And you know what? She threw me out of the room and never talked to me again. <laughs> <laughs> So that's what a loser you are. I'm not a loser. I, I honestly... Why don't you have, make you love her? I don't love her. To, I'm trying not. to become friends with her. Go out no, a few I, times and then maybe... Yeah, like, so maybe she gets so like drunk that she'll have no, sex with no, him. No, no, no. She, goofs on, she goofs on him like crazy behind his back. Oh. I know. But they have gone out But they have gone out together. Yeah, yeah. she'll go out. I mean, yeah, she'll go out and let him... relief. Yeah. He's the court jester. He's a mascot. Right. Dude, get it together, man. Just tell her you love her. I don't love her. That's the way you do it. So I got my wife. I said, I love you. <laughs> you can't lie. <laughs> <laughs> You're good for her, man. She can rest her beer on your bald head. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Where is she? That he doesn't think is funny. I don't know. She's been uh, coming in sporadically. Oh, so she's not even here today? Uh, yeah, she's, she's not here. Resting her beer I think she's here. So you would know Gorilla if she's here. Yeah, no, I, she, she's here. I don't know where she is, though. Go no, I know where she is. <laughs> where is she? Let me, let me get her. <laughs> she basically ignores me. She? She's too busy hearing Gorilla whine. Oh, oh my God, right whine. Oh. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Christine, you hear this? No, I half heard it. What, but, what's going on? We were talking how about did how... How even come up? What? How she did came you... up because we were talking about how you sit in the back and hold court. And you complain, you sit back there with the lights out when Christine's around in the morning, and you keep the lights out, and you start moaning about how tough your schedule is. And you know you're hoping that she's going to well, get on with you, and no, she's not. I'm not. I'm not. Do you, you know what I'm talking about? He has never once in the five years I, you know, that we've known him sit back there, turn the lights out. Every morning And, and, I and do. moan to guys about how tough it is, his schedule, and I all that. We never heard, oh, Ganji, my life stinks. <laughs> I never said that. I, I can see why you're in love with her. Until I heard you whining to Christine. The warning about what? But your life. You I work for free. I work, I work. Don't you think he's kind of ridiculous when he tells you that? He's working for free, so why? I mean, he could quit any time. No, no, no. no. It has nothing to do with that. I was talking to, I work at a youth center. I was talking about all the little wise-ass teenagers that I work with, and it's funny. Oh. And that's what I was talking Why? about. I wasn't wanting He was about... crying, wasn't he? Oh, man. <laughs> oh. a little whimpering. I, yeah. Don't you think it's a sexual come on what he's doing? Seriously, don't no. you think that by it's... complaining about his schedule? Well, by no, getting the dark room. Went in the dark room and the light He walks in. The... I don't even know if she's going to come in in the morning, let, let alone so I, I plan to shut the lights off when she comes here. Oh. <laughs> hmm. You know if what? I'm You've tired, got it all backwards, man. You got it all backwards. No, I don't. I have it right on track. You're supposed to make Christine moan. Instead, you're moaning. <laughs> oh. oh, I can't take it. Oh, my life is a mess. I got no. Did you tell her you love her already? No, I don't I love her. Then why every minute he asking her to go eat wings with you? Because we hang out sometimes. Do you think he's? You know, guys. Love. You you get the vibe. Is he in love with you? I I, I think he's given up on the fact that he's a chicken wing. Will you marry me? <laughs> <laughs> I think he's given up. On really? That. Yeah, I don't oh, I don't no. think that. I like to go out and hang out. She. How can you hang out with anyone else but her? I do. I hang out with a lot of people. Yeah. Okay. Hang out with Danny and Matt. Do you? Yeah. yeah. Okay. And Christine. And Christine. And Christine. <laughs> Christine. <laughs> Christine, have you gotten even thinner? I don't th actually I think I've gained weight. Really? Yeah. Not in my <laughs> eyes. <laughs> I think I've gained some weight. No, not, not the way I see it. <laughs> You hope that you get her so loaded one night that she's gonna have no. sex with you. No, Am I right, Gary? Gary no. told me that a long time ago. He said his his plan is that he's gonna <laughs> he's gonna hang around you long enough and hope that you'll get drunk We're enough one night to, no. to have sex with him. I have no reason to admit that not to be true and I just I that's What? <laughs> remember the, remember the two remember the two girls that were up here? 
the two sisters, and they yeah. talked about how um, the girl had a lesbian experience, how the guy followed the two women out to the car. They told right. him not to get in. Yeah. He got in, went home, and he got it. Yeah. That's what he hopes happens. No, you absolutely. Follow, you get in the uh, car. Absolutely. You just don't get out even when you're told and to you know leave. What? Game playing never works because she's always going to think of you as a friend. you got to go up to her and you say, I, I love you and I need you. I wanted to be a friend. I don't, I don't want anything else. That's it. I'm serious. She's, she's I'm a very you. tough woman. She's I'm, not going to take that from but you. But very good. I hope she does. Right, Christine, you don't even wear dresses, right? No, I do wear you dresses do? once in a while. I've never seen you in a dress. Never. I'll surprise you guys. Yeah, because sometimes I think you have bad legs or something because you always wear pants. Well, they're pretty scarred up. Oh, they are? <laughs> yes. Yeah. You can wear pantyhose. Try that. <laughs> scarred up from what? From Hot. sports. And oh, hockey. really? Yeah. Hockey. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Hockey. Ice hockey. No. So not her teeth either. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I think Gorilla's got her right where he wants her. No, yeah, because exactly. she a friend. no longer believes that he, he wants, wants her. her. And right. that's where he wants no, her. No, you're wrong. I was I'm like, you're all wrong. Let me ask you a question. Christine was if drunk one night, all right? Yeah. I'll give you a all hypothetical right. situation. Right. She's and I swear to God, I'll honest you. And she's laying on the bed moaning and going, I really need a guy, so I'll, uh, since there's no, no one around, I'll take you, Gorilla. And you said, okay. You would say, okay, right? How drunk am I? By you're very low. Very low. Really, really, the room really is really dizzy. Right? You're, <laughs> you're in a Cobain coma. <laughs> yeah. so you're, just, you're near death. You wouldn't. I'm just saying. I'm not. It's nothing personal against you. I just. I wouldn't. I wouldn't just have sex with somebody. Did you I hear that? Turning. Do you hear that? So. Okay. So it's not, it's not a personal. So. You guys are off track. You really are. <laughs> and you think she's a lesbian because she wants to have sex with no, you, right? It's not personal, but yeah, she would right. do it with a gun to her head. Wow. <laughs> I'd have to be so loaded. I'd have to be dead. Yeah. I'd there would be have dead. to be drugs involved. You would have to I be think. completely Ooh. wasted. <laughs> well, there's your answer. Stop moaning. So in the dark. Not moaning. Is, Give up is on it, that. Wait, I want to know something. What? This is your answer because I because I'm not into you. I'm gay. Is uh, that what you're I, I never said that. <laughs> Did I? I never said that. Cut it out. No, I've heard you guys. You're like, oh, she always wears pants. Yeah. She must be gay. No, I've never said really? that. Really? No. No. I think I'm she surely... likes broads. <laughs> And if I was gay, I bet I could get more women than you. Yeah, I bet you could. Oh, yeah. oh, man. Screw off. What the hell is your problem? Oh, Why don't you go back problem. home? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was... Take, take off another day. How do I to turn her on? Uh, yeah, I'm turning her on. Like, I really want to turn her on. I've got her where I want it. <laughs> <laughs> She's on the ropes. <laughs> no. All right. Yeah, good luck to you. Yeah, whatever. Christine, uh, <laughs> try to resist. <laughs> we hope you two will be very happy. Hope you're happy together. <laughs> We're already fighting. We're not even married. All right. It's great. <laughs> so who haven't I turned against today? <laughs> who haven't I made miserable who today? Haven't you, uh, Gary got off easy today. Yeah. Uh, no Gary kissed your ass pretty good today. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, right Fred's mad at me, believe me. Okay. You're right in your mind. See? All right, anyway, Robin, let's do some news. <laughs> <laughs> Can we do the news now, Fred? Why are you holding up a sponsor? We're because we haven't finished. Are you serious? Oh. oh, I feel terrible. Well, I've shirked my responsibility. Love life had to be. Oh, uh, that's right. Well, we couldn't interrupt that. <laughs> I couldn't. All right, let me take a break, Rob. Let's do some news now. All right. All right. Maybe I should get Gorilla in here to try this on. All right. Does he know his part? <laughs> no. Because we just finished writing this thing two seconds ago. This kid, this intern, Steve Gorilla, who's been interning for us for the last twelve years. Yes. Yeah. But he's managed at least to stay in college while he's doing it. Yeah, he's been in college for 12. How long has Gorilla been with us, Gary? 14 years. You know, well, I think it's got to be four, four years? Three years. But you Three know, years. Start, it seems like he's been with us forever. He says he started out as a freshman, which I'm not sure, but and now... now he's a sophomore. Now he's like, what year are you in now? <laughs> yeah, what's your story, dude? What year are you in? Um, well, technically... Um, technically, um, technically, technically if, if I was if like... I if, was, uh, if, uh, if, uh, <laughs> yeah, if, let him talk. Yeah, I was in normal college. I should have graduated last June. What is this like? Special school college? So well, what do you mean if you were in normal school? college? If, if, if I was in like a university, yeah, I should have graduated. Wait, wait a second. You're, you're telling me that this is a school's fault? That no, uh, well, part of it, yeah. I, Why? <laughs> because it's overcrowded. I can't get all the classes <laughs> I need. I see. Okay. If I was in normal well, college. Normal college. Normal uh, college. Honestly, the average person that graduates from my school takes five to six years. Is that right? Yeah. No, you, ha you, ha you have to take 18 credits plus summer classes to right. graduate in four years from And you know college. you're going to get out and you're going to be totally worthless on the job market. I guess maybe. It I seems am. like you're totally wasting your time. All okay. Right. What should I do then? I don't know. I mean, don't ask me. I don't think ask about a question, it. Though. He says the normal person that takes four or five years. Yeah. I mean, five or six years. So what is it going to take him? <laughs> 15 I, I, years. Because <laughs> this guy can't even speak English. I'm in no rush. 
You're an embarrassment to the college, I decided. Okay, you really have well, trouble well, with... decided now? Well, you yeah, decided at the first day. Because you're having trouble speaking. I mean, you know, that's basic language skills. We better take it easy, because the last time we discussed Gorilla's college yeah. on the air, there was a whole meeting behind the scenes, and they were very upset with him, and they were even talking about getting him in trouble, remember? Oh, is that right? Well, that was, be that, that, was, that was only because somebody called up, and they, they opened my file. And they weren't supposed to. Don't well, didn't they that. tell us at the time that Gorilla was taken into the school under a special yeah. kind of consideration? Yeah. Well, because I was late. I, 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 the Forrest I... Gump degree. <laughs> All right, anyway, because you mangle the English language so beautifully on our show. Thank you. For example, when you say the word friend, you say Fred. Fred. And when you say... Um, Gollage. Gollage, you say G-O-L-L-E-G-E, -L -L -E -E, Gollage. Zuma glasses. Zuma. Z-U-M-M-E-R glasses. G-L-A-S-S-E-S. -S -S -E -S. And technology. We decided the song I'm Too Zagzy <laughs> would be a perfect song for you because you always say Zagzy. Okay. But Fred, you should sing it first. So he knows. I, I give him a taste. Give him a taste so he knows how to do it. Right. All right? Very good. So hear Fred do it, and then you'll do it, okay? Wow. This is a live recording session with Grillo. Uh, Grillo gets his own song. Desding. Desding. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Ah, ah, ah. All right, here we go. Did you ever sing before? Uh, no. All right. I've got a lousy voice. I barely speak. <laughs> <laughs> maybe you, you know, maybe you're like Mel Tillis or something. You speak better when you sing. I'm not that lucky. All right, here we go. <laughs> I'm so sexy and so bald. So sexy and so bald, as bald as a wall. <laughs> I'm as sexy as my Fred, as sexy as my Fred. There ain't a hair on my head. I'm the Brillo and you're not, the Brillo and you're not. I like to drink and smoke bad. <laughs> Ow, my girlfriend yells at me. My girlfriend yells at me. Who? I'd like to kick her in her teeth. <laughs> I'm an intern. I don't get no gash. And I always go out for Howard's Bugly. For Howard's Bugly. For Howard's Bugly. <laughs> don't put no butter on Howard's Bugly. <laughs> I'm so sexy when I dog. So sexy when I dog. I dog like Jerry's kids walk. <laughs> I get kicked out of my house. Get kicked out of my house. My parents think I'm allowed. I got an uncle who smoked cigarettes. He lost his throat to throat cancer. Smokes through his blowhole. Smokes through his blowhole. He lost his throat and now he smokes through his blowhole. <laughs> A little break. Every day I bring the jerky. I bring my boss the jerky. I must be some kind of jerky. <laughs> I'm too stupid for discussion. Too stupid for discussion. I talk like I have a concussion. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. Boy, oh, I see. Now that's a good song. Wow. I, wow. I love it. There's no way I can top that. What do you mean, top that? You're going to top that. No. That's it for no, Give him some it. new lyrics and let him do it. There you go. We have tons of lyrics for you. I'm sure you do. They couldn't. They couldn't. There's no way I can do that. There's no way. You can do it. Uh, no. So You're negative. a college student. You're a college graduate. You're in show business. Well, let, let Freddie stole the show, let man. Freddie stole the show. I'm not talented enough. I'm not dialing data. There's no way I can dub that. There's no way I can dub that. <laughs> I can't do anything right. I can't dub that. Now you just try it. Oh, okay. Stop being I, so I, nervous. I, I, I'm not. I'm oh, already doing it. Are you Come a baby? On, are you a baby or are you I'm, a man? I'm, I'm, I are you a man? Sing. I have no rhythm. You don't have to sing for that. You talk it. Those guys who do the song don't sing. Yeah, they so, talk it. I'm too sexy for my pants. Too sexy for my pants. They make me dance. That's you, what you're going to say. Should I say it like... Just say it any way, way you want. Written, no, no say it the way you talk. Ooh. Here we go. He's the brilliant. <laughs> One, it comes right in. One, two... <laughs> I'm so sexy and so bald, so sexy and so bald, and bald as a wall. I'm as sexy as my friend, as sexy as my friend, there ain't a hair on my head. Um, she's Brillo and you're not, she's Brillo and you're not, I like to drink and smoke pot. <laughs> my girlfriend yells at me, my girlfriend yells at me, I'd like to kick her in the teeth. 
Ooh-ha-ha. <laughs> you better go back and work on yeah. that. Freddie's going to have to work on it. Yeah, right. <laughs> oh. Any idiot can sing that. Give me that. Come on, really? I'm trouble with you. Oh. too sexy. I'm an intern. I don't get no cash. And I always... Yeah, I mean, I go, uh, no cash, and I always go out for Howard's Broccoli. For Howard's Broccoli. For Howard's Broccoli. Don't put no butter on Howard's Broccoli. I'm so sexy when I talk. So sexy when I talk. I talk like Jerry's kids walk. Yeah, what do you mean you kick at this? I get kicked out of my house. Got kicked out of my house. My parents think I'm a louse. <laughs> What's the matter with you? How can you not sing that? Silly boy. So so dopey. <laughs> For goodness sakes. I can't do it. I can't do it. I never think I can't do it. I love I... that line. I talk like I have a concussion. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. When you get working on that, here's all your lyric sheets and get to work. I got abroad at the pay-per-view, abroad at the pay-per-view, I got abroad. I the pay-per-view. <laughs> <laughs> All right, very good. we got to take a break. I'll come back and do the Chevy Chase tape right. for you right after these words. Here's Gorilla, Steve Gorilla. What's he doing? What's his name? You name Steve? Yeah. Oh, all right. Let's play Gorilla. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, man. I just can't remember everyone's name. Yeah. It's a big organization. I need you either a Steve or a Mike. <laughs> what else is here? Poor Gorilla works here for free every day, and I can't even remember his first name. <laughs> gorilla. Hey, Gorilla. What were you saying? Um, I lent my uh, butt bongo tape to one of my professors. Professors? What? Professor Steve's an intern here at the uh, radio station. <laughs> And uh, he wants to be a radio uh, broadcaster, but he can't say the word professor. Professor, <laughs> don't they have speech classes in co college anymore? Yeah, they have speech classes. <laughs> I learned it from my professor. <laughs> <laughs> Do they have a speech class? Yeah, I took it. Did yeah. you? Oh, yeah. I yeah. Took it. You can't tell. I got an A. I got an I. <laughs> I got an I. I got an I from you my got professor. A I got an A. But but this is a, f a friggin' A, you guys? I got a friggin' A. Friggin' A. <laughs> <laughs> Fred, you do a good impression of him. Uh, uh. What's, what's your story? You're not going to be a disc jockey, are you? I, no, I never you really said it. I wanted to. No, you said you wanted to be on the air. That was your whole thing. You did. said that. No, you said that. Oh, no, are you, you going to be a writer? I, I, that's one of the things I like to try, and I, I didn't want to say anything until I at least pr gave you something, and I gave you the script, you know, and I, I still write some stuff, and I, I just don't give it to you. <laughs> All right. Yeah, he's afraid to give you any more. He's waiting for you to ask. Oh, I see. No, I'm not going to wait for you to ask me. I'm just going <laughs> to keep it for myself. And Are you going to write stuff and just hold on to it? Yeah, just for the future. Right. Yeah. You, you're learning from Fred, obviously. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so what, so you, want, you don't want to be a personality? A no. personality on the radio? I don't want to be a personality. I want to be a writer. <laughs> <laughs> now he's a writer. I'm a writer. I decided personality. Well, he told me he's been writing a lot of funny over. stuff. Yeah, so where is it? When do you bring it in? I gave you, so I gave you the um, oh, that yeah. script and stuff. Yeah. Well, maybe you should try another one. All right. All right. What nothing. else have you been writing? Yeah, what kind of bits stuff? Do Just, I, I jot down ideas and stuff like that, but I, you know. Like, what idea have you come up with lately? What's well, that? the lunch. <laughs> <laughs> I, I told you about the idea with Robin interview, like doing a bit with Robin interviewing Michael Jackson, or when um, President Clinton had the, um, gave his a uh, speech, and everybody just kept applauding throughout the whole thing, and just yeah. st ideas like that. <laughs> <laughs> what, what is? It? I don't even get the idea. Uh, never mind. Well, it's, it's, is that it's, Clinton? Uh, Clinton made a speech, and everyone applauds. What? My well, professor yeah. liked the idea. <laughs> <laughs> I got an eye. I don't understand that idea. Well, it's it's a little late now but it's, yeah. it's high concept <laughs> <laughs> i don't right. understand the joke though what what? Do you, robin will interview michael jackson and then what happens i wrote it all down i don't know and then I, president clinton comes in the room you don't understand <laughs> and that everybody <laughs> and everybody and, and everybody applauds so your idea of a gag was to have president clinton be no on? take the no, speech robin and michael jackson the speech yeah dad the speech right and every five <laughs> seconds he would say something yeah. and everybody applauded they applauded something like Right. 97 times throughout so, the whole so speech. So what would you do to make that funny? Just edit it, take some of the things that he said. Yeah. And just keep putting in the, the, the uh, applause and like not have him say anything. And then finally he says something that he, they should applaud to in his total silence. All right. Okay. All right. Well, maybe we'll do that later in the show. All right. <laughs> <laughs>
that's uh, uh-huh. uh, not necessarily going to make the air. Is what I'm yeah. <laughs> Let me think about it. <laughs> me. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh, see, okay, so uh, you so want to... ideas are always coming to him, yeah. Howard, constantly. Uh, anyway. Constantly, constantly ideas. <laughs> what were you saying there? Your professor was what? My professor. Yeah. He, um... <laughs> No, go ahead. This is a good story. Go ahead. About Papango Fiesta. Yeah, he's, a, he's my film teacher. He's one of my classes I'm taking in film. Right. And he's done, he does He does work for like public broadcasting. He does his work for Paramount and stuff. Yeah. So, so he's, he's in film? Yeah, in some odd way or whatever. He's rather. in film. And um, he, uh, he, he's brought you up in class a couple of times, so I gave him about Bongo. Yeah. And I figured he'd, I thought he'd rip it apart because he's like such an uptight guy. Yeah, right. And I gave it back and he hands it back to me and he goes, this is outrageous. This is, a, this is hysterical. I said, you're kidding me. I thought he was just going to totally cr- critique everything. Yeah. Really so we bad. got an eye, too. And, yeah. and so we I, got an eye. <laughs> yeah. And I was just totally surprised. And I said, so what was your favorite part? He goes, well, I love how the whole thing was set up, how everybody was just sitting around, relaxed, and everybody just seemed to act so natural. Right. He goes, but my favorite part had to be the lesbian dating game. Really? And, and then the funny thing was, one of the girls next to me turns around and whispers in my ear, I, I bet it was. Right. There you go. <laughs> but um, he goes... You could act. <laughs> what was that for? You, you could act. He goes. For? He goes. You can take the lesbian lesbian dating game and just make a whole documentary on what you did. Right. He goes. You that one little segment you did. Right. He goes could be made into a whole, a whole hour long thing. Right. He goes. He goes. He goes. He goes. He, goes <laughs> <laughs> he said you should take that and just go with that. Well, thank you. I tell you, professor, he's right. He's absolutely well, maybe right. Maybe instead of to going to Gorilla for ideas, we'll go to the professor. Yeah, Let's maybe the, the professor. professor. Is that the same professor on Gilligan's Island? <laughs> <laughs> uh, professor, look what I have for you. Babongo. So, uh, so he liked it. Yeah, he liked it a lot. He which, liked it a lot. He, which totally surprised me. Right. All right, well, there it is. Uh, Steve Gorilla, who, uh, of course... Goes to Anta College. Anta. Anta College. <laughs> uh-huh. Can he get down here Monday to give a critique on the air? If you want him to. All right, very if he's good. not teaching film. Film. He'll be working for Paramount. He used to work for Paramount. <laughs> what is his credential that he teaches film? Has he ever uh, written or uh, been yeah, in a film? Yeah, he's been in the film, no. But I know he's he's done documentaries for... He's like a big public broadcasting I like right. critic. Stuff. So basically he rents movies. Like, oh, I, yeah. I, I, okay, okay, All right, man. <laughs> <laughs> there he is, Steve Gorilla with another Butt Bongo uh, testimony. <laughs> All right, Gorilla. Calm down, boy. Calm down. Calm down, old boy. He's so happy when he does a good job for you. All right, Professor. <laughs> professor. I'm not in a real humorous mood. Why? Something bad happened? No, it's just that, you know, the days are getting very long. Yesterday. And coming down to a precious view. Yeah. Well, yesterday I, um, yesterday I had wig stock. I had oh, to go, how was it? I had to, be go, I had to go get fitted for wigs. Because, uh, you know, and when I talk about wigs, you're talking about each wig is over over 2000 It's like a $2,500 wig, each mm-hmm, one. Mm-hmm. So you have, uh, for a movie... A human hair wig. Yeah. It was really weird when they were, like, putting the hair next to me to match my hair and stuff. Yeah. Uh, man, it, it's so real that there's just no difference between my hair and this, this wig hair. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, there's no doubt in my mind that wigs can accomplish the job. It's not that plastic hair. No. Wow, it's so weird. It was so real. It was kind of creepy. So who's this wig master? Some dude. He's like he's some kind of eccentric and stuff. Uh-huh. He talked kind of like George Takei. Really? Yeah. Hmm, that's interesting. Except he had like an Australian accent. Oh my. <laughs> he's like hello. In Australian. Good eye. Tell me with this first wig we're making. The hair. What does it come down to? Does it come down to your nipple? <laughs> Mm. You know, it was kind of like, you know, he was real professional. Like yeah. a real, you know, movies is a whole different world than the junk we're used to doing. I think you have to act more professional because it's yeah. a make-believe business. Well, we had the guy there who's going to be fitting me for prosthetics. Don't forget, when I'm younger, I'm heavier, if you remember. And, so um, you're going to have a, oh, yeah. a body suit? Not a body suit, but I'm going to be wearing pieces of my face in different scenes. Not in the rest of your body? Uh, yeah, but uh, there's different ways that they pad. It's not a body suit. Oh, I thought thought maybe you'd, you know, like those women who get pregnant. No. They put them in a whole suit. But it's really interesting how they age you and then they make you younger and they have ways of pulling your skin back. There's a whole deal going on. I'm going, you know what I'm doing today? I'm going to face cast. 
Where they, so you're... Where they stick your head in cement. Right. And they just, you know, you can only breathe through your nostrils. You're going to act... See, Ralph always wanted you to do that, remember? Yeah. Well, I wouldn't let Ralph... <laughs> the guy who's doing it to me, this guy Bob, is real professional. He did the makeup for, like, tons of cool movies. You always said to Ralph, I yeah. can't let you do that. You don't know what you're doing. Yeah. <laughs> and, and you talk about body doubles. Mm -hmm. um, they said, do you have a preference for who's going to be your body double? You're standing. Mm -hmm. And I said, uh, you mean... You mean I have a stand-in? I go, why do I have that? Uh, they go, well, do you have a preference? Who's going to play your stand-in? I said, no. I said, but, but, yeah, oftentimes people have their sister or brother oh, stand in for them. Wow. Well, I'll have my sister stand in for me. <laughs> <laughs> that would be funny. Yeah. I'm Howard Stand-in. I don't have a brother, so. <laughs> so Ralph goes, I'll be the stand-in. And then even John Alvis said, what are, you, what are you, everything on the yes, movie? Wait, yes. you want to be, you, just shut up. He'll have so many, again, Ralph's name will be all Yeah, right, over right, yeah. The credit. Ralph tried to <laughs> we, weasel his way into the movie. Oh. Uh, Where do I stand? Ralph Sorrell, a co-director. <laughs> hope you don't mind that, Mr. Avildsen. You don't want Ralph doing no. anything close to that. No. Because then he'll get a big head. Ralph's not doing start anything. pissing off people. <laughs> He's not doing anything. Trust me. Ugh. I know what I'm doing. So anyway, so they said you. And I was thinking of like maybe hiring Joey Ramone to be my stand-in, but <laughs> but he might be insulted by and it. And he might cost too much money. Yeah, right. Girl, you think? Yeah, he's pretty expensive. Oh, Rick Ocasek isn't doing anything. Yeah, I might get him. <laughs> Isn't that funny though? Like I have a stand-in. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. I never thought about that. And then they offered me. Uh, they said, "Who do you want to be your assistant on the uh, set? Mm -hmm. Like your gopher?" Mm -hmm. Should I get one of those two? <laughs> and they go, yeah. You have to. Then I was thinking of making giving it to Gorilla, but now, wait a second. but oh. I'm not going to give it to him because we need him here. You're not going to bypass me for some young, really beautiful blonde. You, you're not needed here. Is assistant. that what you're saying? You, what are you saying? You don't have time to be my. You got to be there. It's, it's an 80 hour week. You're going to work. You're going to do this radio show. No, no, no. The assistant's oh, job oh, is oh. 80 hour a week. Uh oh. I, Gorilla. I would gladly do it. I know you would, but I need you here. What am I supposed to do? Well, if you're going to be here... How are you going to do both? You have to go to college. It's, it's I'll a, take a semester off. It would be more than worth it. And you're going to be here in the morning and, and travel through the whole day with me? Absolutely. I would give it's my... It's an 80-hour week. I would give my left leg. All right, cut uh, off your cut leg. Cut it off right now. <laughs> give, me a, give me a... I, I would definitely... Give me a scissor. Now, I don't any more than a scissor. <laughs> I'll do it with a scissor. How's that? I don't know. We'll talk about it. We'll see. You're awfully incompetent. What about uh, Ganji? Ganji what? there is... Uh, no, not Ganji. Ganji got can't enough. Live without him. <laughs> How Ganji, forget Ganji. We've already promoted Ganji. What? I, I'm not... I, I, I thought of you immediately because maybe I'd reward you for being a good kid, but... I, I would not let you down. I don't want anyone annoying me. And also, there's like a lot of... You see, you got to be there early in the morning to set up. Oh, you see, they you start... can't be here. Have, see, they start that. setting up at 7 in the morning. You, you understand what I'm saying? They yeah. And, like, you got to prepare platters of food for me and all kinds of stuff. Uh, have I not been doing that for the past three years? Have, have, what have is I it, Vic? Messed up? Uh oh Oh, Vic looking uh -oh. for a gig? Uh -oh. No, Vic, i got to give it to Gorilla before you, right? I mean... Uh, yeah, it's up to you, but... What? The same offer. I'm sorry? I'll do what he just said he would do. Cut if... off both legs. Cut off both legs? <laughs> With a scissor? Yeah. Yeah, I don't... Well, first of all, they're, they're, there's some people who are professionals at this, like professional gophers, like assistants. And they know what they're doing. They know their way around a set. Yeah. They always wear a stopwatch or carry a clipboard. I never know why. Yeah, I know. But they, but there's professional assistants. So i got to find out what they're supposed to do for me. See, because you might not know what to do. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, I, I don't know that I need a... I need someone who's more experienced. But you also want someone that yeah. you you kind of know that... Yeah, but the problem is I know you and I ain't that thrilled with you. You know what I'm saying? I want to hang around with you. <laughs> you ain't that much fun. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to tell you. I don't know. I've been on this set two months, and I haven't been I haven't been done doing any acting yet. All I'm doing is hiring. I mean, I think Gorilla's a great guy, but isn't this the part of the job, Howard? This is, isn't this why you spent your whole life so that you get this incredibly beautiful, like, 22-year-old blonde no, who's I gotta, very good I gotta, at what she does? I have a wife. Who's very good at what she does. No, I can't have a 22-year-old blonde. He picked a 22-year-old years ago. Yeah. <laughs> and he's the one I, yeah, the one I, I with her. <laughs> yeah, i got to have a guy. I don't think my wife's going to go for me having a 22-year-old blonde. He's already got love seeds, Gary. What are you trying to do? Yeah, and quite frankly... Uh, who needs that temptation? <laughs> I'm ready to be pushed off the boat as it is. <laughs> you know what I mean? Doesn't your wife understand that this is how Hollywood works? Yeah, well, my head is exploding from Hollywood. I better just back off. You know what his wife understands? Right. She understands Hollywood's divorce law. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, all right, listen, don't get all worked up I, over I know, this. Don't even I, bother me about it because I don't I even know. Because the guy said there's a lot of things that people do that they, they do this professionally. 
So I don't even know that this is a, a realistic... And Stuttering Vic, I could, I could never give it to you because a gorilla would commit suicide. Definitely. You could take, hire us both. What? You could take us on... You could... Yeah, but I'm not... I'm, I'm, you know what? It's not up to me. It's up to the studio. They, gotta, they would have to talk to you guys and see if you even know what's going on. Who even knows what an assistant's supposed to do on a movie set? Be an assistant, you know. Yeah, but... How, how hard could it be, Howard? I mean, you, That's a bad you attitude, Vic. You don't know. You, you, you don't know how hard it is. Right. I don't know, but I'm speculating that it can't be. I mean, it's an assistant's job, you know. Yeah, but in other words, yeah. if they have to tell you what to do every minute, they, there's some people who know what to do. They've, they've served other Hollywood yeah, guys, I agree. I agree. and they know what to do on the set. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. You yeah. guys will be standing around going, I don't well, what know what do I'm doing. Like, what do I do? What is that? See what I mean? And you don't even have a car, Gorilla. I, oh, oh. I'd find one. I, I, I've what if I need you to run to my house and get some? I'd steal one. <laughs> my parents have two cars. I can borrow one of theirs. You can? Yeah. How's your father going to get to work? My father takes a train. Oh, okay. His father's a mailman. <laughs> I mean, for God's sake. He's not driving from house to house. Yeah, right. He's got his mail truck. <laughs> you know what I mean? What side of the car, what's cut side of the car is the steering wheel on? Uh, is he, he walks. Oh, he walks. Yeah. All right, okay. <laughs> <laughs> He's working up to a car. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I'm going to find out whoever was, like, De Niro's last assistant. Yeah. You know, because I want to... You see, a lot of these actors are bull busters. Right. They get a hold of these assistants. And whip them. And whip them into shape. I got guys who sit around watching me. They yell yeah. back at you. Yeah. Your assistants are always talking back. Because yeah, Gorilla will be like, oh I, oh, I don't know what to do. No one told me. No one told me what to do. Well, I didn't know. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I didn't know. But no one told me. No one. That, you see, a lot of these kids know what they're doing already. Yeah. Some of them aren't such kids. It's like a professional job. Well, if you gave me a shot. I'll tell you what I'll do. Yeah, I'll tell you what I'm going to do for you, all right? Because I like you. You're not the brightest kid, but I like you. I'll get you an interview. Cool. All right? Yeah. Cool. Cool. And try and find out what an assistant's supposed to do on these movie sets. I will look into it. As far as I can tell, you got to just serve me in every way possible. Well, I've been doing that for the past two years, haven't I? Yeah. All right, Gunga Din, get out of here. Ah, <laughs> Gunga Din. All right, Gunga Din. Thank you. All right, that's Gunga Din. Gunga Steve. Gunga Stupid. Gunga Grillo. I've been sitting with this information for three weeks. Really? That I need an assistant on the movie. I'm still thinking about pondering. And I, and I called Gary and I said, what am I going to do? And he said... He goes, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, typical, as usual. Typical. I, Very I go, helpful, Gary. And I go, well, how can I give it to Gorilla? We need him here. We don't want to take interns away from here. Uh-huh. Because we need our interns. You give him a paying job oh, and he wants to work in movies. Yeah, I'd like to give Gorilla pay, And it's a pretty good paying job. Yeah. It's not a bad... I mean, he's always crying about money. I mean, it's but it's a long week. It's 80-hour weeks. Well, he says he puts that in now. So yeah. he just take off school and do it for the experience. I see. I don't know. I wish... I, I even said to the guy, just, you know, you guys pick... You interview people and just... Uh, yeah, it would be so easy if they just say, here is your assistant. Yeah, and well, they don't want to... ask you these questions. In a way, I appreciate it, though, because, I, you know, you don't want to be stuck on a movie set where you sit around for hours and hours of waiting with some dickhead... <laughs> Who's, like, bugging you? You know what I mean? Yeah, but you don't have to be bugged. You go in your wherever you go and close the door. Yeah, but you need your, your dude. Evidently, you need an assistant. I don't know what for, but you need one. Yeah, but they don't have to necessarily be where you are yeah, at but, the moment. You could have them stand outside the door. But even if they're standing outside the door and the guy's a jerk, it can be real annoying. You know oh. that. I could obsess on it. Uh, yes, for no good reason. Yeah. So I'm going to find out what an assistant does on the movie set. And then and when I find out, can do it. yeah, and if I'll figure out if Gorilla can do it. <laughs> <laughs> but also, you got to be somewhat innovative. You know what I mean? There must, there must be there cool stuff. There might be some things you need to anticipate and look, you know, see a problem down the road before it gets to be big. Like if someone was an, an, a trained assistant and was trained by some ball buster, that they'd come in and go, Howard, you need me to do this, 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 and this. I go, oh, that's right, that's what I need. Yes, before you go into this shoot, we can get this, 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 and this yeah, done. Yeah, yeah. And I'll set this up for you so when you come out, that'll yeah. be done. Yeah, 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 yeah. But who knows if that exists. And Gorilla, gorilla yeah, it does, evidently. Gorilla don't know how to do that. <laughs> Gorilla's like, oh, wow, wow. Wow, 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 You didn't tell me to do that. What? What? Huh? He'll do whatever what? I tell him to do, I know that. Oh, yeah. Wow. But is he I was here at 7 o'clock, nobody told me to, 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 to ha. <laughs> yeah, right. You get all flustered. How was I supposed to know? Yeah, right. <laughs> I didn't know. What am I, a mind reader? <laughs> oh, I never did this before. Yeah, I, I never, never did, did this before. before. I need that. Well, I need... if somebody had told me. Yeah. <laughs> if I'd done this before, I would have done it already. <laughs> I need... make sure it does, it's done tomorrow. Yeah, I need an intelligent <laughs> midget, you know? 
Hoo ha. Hoo ha. Hoo ha. You know what I'm saying? Do you want to trash me? At least give me a chance. No, well, yeah, but you don't know what you have to do on the movie set. I don't even know what I have to do on the movie set. But it, 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 at least uh -oh. it's explained to me. Ralph is here. Oh boy. Uh oh. You know. Listen. <laughs> what is it, Ralph? Listen. <laughs> what is it? Never mind. Never mind. What is it? What do you want? You're going to need Never somebody mind. who can communicate with other people yeah. on the set for you. You know. So what are you saying? Not, not just go pick up stuff. Right. Well, we know you I'm can't just, do that. Uh, you're looking at him. I'm, I'm pretty busy already, Rob. Thank not you the anyway. Point. I just wanted I could, to point I, out that If I needed to do that, I could do that, though. Thank you, Rob. Communicating Robin. with other people. Go host the show. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> go dress up like a queen and host. All righty. Yeah, I know, what are you saying? Gorilla can't communicate? Well, I'm no, I'm not saying that. I'm saying that's very wonderful. <laughs> what are you saying? What are you saying? Are you saying anything? I'm saying like he might have to go over to the director and, you know, tell him something for you or... Right. That kind of thing. He could do or that. Or other people on the... Yeah, I don't know. If, uh, don't talk too quick, Rob. Wait, I mean... Rob's making could, a good point for once. He could definitely relay a message, don't you think? <laughs> Come on. You're well, talking about Gorilla. <laughs> uh, honestly, I would take this very seriously. I know you would. I know you try as hard as you could. But I'm not as... But like, even when I had you work, like, you came out to my house to help me or some stuff, you were, like, so slow and thick. Oh, really? Yeah. I don't know anything oh. about that. He was really slow. I wasn't that bad. You were was, pretty bad. Lot... I don't know if you could really snap oh. to this one. I wasn't that This bad. might drive you right over the edge. Yeah, this doesn't require reading or anything, does it? I don't know. I don't know what it requires. That's the problem. <laughs> I would I would recommend... I, I'm going to recommend him for it. Mm -hmm. But he, I don't know. I don't know what he has to do. Hmm. We'd have to read the we'd what? have to read the script and anticipate what you'd need and yeah, stuff, stuff like, like that. I, exactly. I, I, like I, 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 like if I got all the information, say if you had a shoot, I'd have to set everything up for that day. Oh. Right. Right. So I'd have to get all your stuff prepared, make sure everything is there and ready and needed. So you, when you come in, you have it and there's no hassle. <laughs> but you're gonna have to. And I would pound the table a lot. Yeah, are you gonna pound the table a lot to prove that you know what yes. you're doing? And then I would do this and, and then that. Pound the table. So it sounds very noisy. And then I'll pound the table on the set. Like when he's the pounding lady. the table, he's pounding it into his head. Yeah. <laughs> Nikita Gorilla. <Wow. laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I understand it. It's very important. Maybe you could be yeah. You're very assistant. hesitant. Does your assistant have an assistant? You see, that's the problem. We have to hire an assistant for the assistant. <laughs> now, Gorilla, here's the thing. I like you. That's the only reason I'm even bringing this up on the air. Mm -hmm. I think you're a good kid. But I don't know if you if you're gonna be in over your head being an assistant. Well, maybe he can't do that. You realize job. you're discussing whether he's got what it takes to be a lackey. I know. <laughs> I know. But, maybe but, he no, can't but do it's, that it's more. Job. It's not a lackey job. It's it's an important job on a film. It is. It kind of is though. Ralph's he, acting like he's been on a film. Yeah. Well, yeah, Ralph once like worked on some horror movie that was like a, a D movie. <laughs> it's an important. I, I worked on a film. It's an It's an important job. It's an important role. You understand? <laughs> How many More people than are cut out for it? <laughs> Dino DeLa Berry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so so the point is that uh, I don't know whether or not uh, you know what I'm going to do, Gorilla. Let's leave it like this. I'm going to I'm high on you. I like you. You're Thank you. You're high. <laughs> I'm high. Yeah. You're high to be on high. Man. Yeah. <laughs> You're high if you use it. He's a good. It would be exciting, I know, to work on a movie, right? But, you know, and also part of me doesn't want to sit on the movie and see, like, those Strangers. same... The, no, I don't want to see those goofy faces that I see every day here that oh. don't know what they're doing. Mm. Like, all of a sudden, I'm going to feel like, am I in an amateur production? <laughs> Gorilla's, Gorilla's here. here. <laughs> I don't know if you're going to see me. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I'm trying to limit it. But so I don't want to see, like... But if it's crazy, it could be a welcome sight, too. Sure. It's like a double-edged sword. It could go either way. Yeah, I guess. He's like a security blanket. Mm, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I'd hate to think oh, that man. that's my security How'd blanket. How'd you get into trash? In <laughs> I'm sorry. Hey, you, the fact that you can be considered is an honor. It is, I... All right? Uh, really? Uh, that's what they mean that, when they thank talk you about the Academy. Yeah, <laughs> right. I just don't know if you're qualified to be a lackey. <laughs> <laughs> That's hard, man. I know. <laughs> it's more than just running out and getting me some hot water. I believe me. You know I, what I mean? You, you got a schedule for the day. I don't know. Yeah, but I don't I know what... It's cold water, too. I, I don't know what a, 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 an, a, an assistant does, but evidently they're telling me it's real important. You're going you're gonna to see that it's needed, and it's someone who sort of thinks on their feet. You know what I mean? It's like an innovator, in a way. you got to think ahead. I mean, you're going to have to go to the director and... Make, Make sure that you have your stuff ready and what's going on. It's, yeah, not, but what, I don't it's even... not just his stuff. It's not just like getting him food. It's like being able to communicate his ideas to other people. Is it? 
You think it's that important? Yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I really do. Oh, well, Gorilla, maybe you would bow out of this right now. Uh, Mr. Director, uh, uh, Howard thinks that... Uh, uh, thinks that this next scene, he doesn't understand his motivation. Could you possibly give him some information that could lead him into his character a little bit more? Technically. And would you like to see my dad do? I don't know if I can handle this. You know what I'm saying? It's my one shot here to get a Barry. It's my it's my one shot to get a good assistant. You know what I mean? I don't even know. See, if all it means is you just get me food, you got the job. You got the job. If it means any more than that, I don't know. It's, 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 here's what all I want you to say. Is Give what? me a chance. All right, I'm going to give you, know, you a chance. You know what I'm okay. thinking about? I'm thinking about some of those phone messages, Gorilla. <laughs> I know. Uh, uh, that's the other thing. Like, you might have to be in contact oh, with Laura, yeah, my right. assistant. Yeah. Who I know. And yeah, and she's not too choked up with the either, I don't think. <laughs> you know what I mean? I thought she liked me. I don't know. I don't know. i got to find out from her if she really liked you. Gorilla she might have just been telling you that. He does take the world's worst phone messages. He does. <laughs> what, what, was, what was he doing at your house that he couldn't handle? I, I, I think I he was boxing stuff. No. <laughs> no. No, 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 no. That, that was for the book. Yeah, was, for the book. You were helping me pull he tapes. And stuff. Yeah. yeah. It's not that I couldn't handle it. I read the book. No, we needed him to pull tapes. He was a little uh, thick. Uh, you know. He didn't understand the system, maybe. The cover. All right, listen, but he tried his best. <laughs> And he was like, I want to help on the book. I want to help on the book. Okay. I said, well, why don't you drive out? I, I don't have a car. So I, when are you going to come out to the house? I'll be there by 5 o'clock. I go, 5 o'clock, we're done. I'll be there at 4.30. Oh, I'll walk there. <laughs> yeah, you know, right? was it, what was the problem with Gorilla? Do you remember, Gandhi? Well, yeah. First, he couldn't get out until really late in the afternoon because he didn't have a car. Right. Then I got he a car. You have to I get mean. a car. But yeah. It took him, like, all afternoon to get. By the time he got there, everybody was leaving. Yeah. And by the time he got the car, he wasn't that into the job anyway, was one, he? One big memory that everybody has of, of him doing the book was we basically dubbed tapes. Yes. So we turned around at one point. Gorilla had a tape problem. We turned around, and he had unspooled the tape, and it was, and like, it was all twisted. over. He was it like was covered in tape. No, <laughs> yeah, right. he looked like a mummy. So he took my tapes and covered himself, and oh, he looked like a mummy. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> and Ganji at least gets that right. You were worse than Ganji. I wouldn't dub no porno tape. I wouldn't dub no porno tape. <laughs> what does that mean? That shot at me with the the time I put Remember? stuff on the porno huh? tape. Oh, oh, right. Yeah, that's true. Well, Gangy didn't dump I, I, I At least I know either. to check the tape before I give it to somebody. <laughs> All right, listen. Here's what I'm going to do. I made a decision. Yes? I don't know what this job entails, but I know they're going to interview about ten people. Mm -hmm. The people you're going to be up against have done this already. Mm -hmm. In other words, they're going to be presented and they're going to say, here's what I would do. Mm -hmm. So you better somehow find out what an assistant does on a movie. You better call somebody and then clean yourself up and I'll get you an interview. Cool. All right? All right, if it doesn't happen, then at least yeah, you... Yeah, it's not up to me. me. You consider me. I, I'm going to be in on the decision. Okay. You're my favorite right now, because you're okay. the only one I know up for the job. Mm -hmm. But I understand like there's a lot dropping of... dropping fist. But, but evidently there's... <laughs> Somebody help me. <laughs> All right, Gorilla. You know, go ahead. Go prepare yourself for your biggest interview of your life. <laughs> All right? I want to make a movie. I want to make a movie. <laughs> if I made a movie, then uh, my whole life would change. Yeah. Right. I would be the most successful gorilla in my family. <laughs> right. <laughs> Mr. Appleton, I see this movie is a handsome, admirable, monochromatic tableau with energy and edge. <laughs> <laughs> if I was shooting this... <laughs> Mr. Appleton, I loved your movies Raggy, Raggy 1, Raggy 2, Raggy 3, Raggy 4, Raggy 5, Karate Kid 1, 2, and 3. I love the power of one and I love the um, lean on me. I've seen them all beg the bag. In an Evelton Film Festival. Uh, and now he opens with a dragging shot from Brooklyn. What do you think? You know what? I think maybe Gorilla might be too in awe and just get in the way. He'd be run over by a camera or something. When Rocky says Adrian, I cry. I tell you, when he had the two turtles, Cuff and Link, I was thinking, this is man. The good side of man, Take it easy, the bad friend. side of man. <laughs> Going off the deep end. All right, I'm going to be John Abelson, the, the famous movie director. You're meeting with him about you being my assistant, all right? He's got to meet with John? But possibly. You never know who wow. he's going to meet with. Oh, now he, hello, young man. And uh, what are your qualifications? Well, I've worked with Howard for three years. Mm -hmm. I've. Have you ever worked on a movie? No, I've not. All right. Well, thank you for coming. <laughs> Son? Yes? What's wrong with your hair? Oh, <laughs> falling out yeah, very quickly. I see. That's rather depressing. Do you think people want to look at the top of your head for the whole film? This is supposed to be a happy, well, this happy many, set. This many is supposed balls. to be a happy movie. I don't want Howard looking at the top of your head and getting bummed out. Can you wear a hat every day? Would you be available to wear a hat? Absolutely. Over your face? Yes. <laughs> yeah, all right. <laughs> Because you're coming in a different hat every day? <laughs> See, I knew Gorilla was going to flip out if I I'm not flipping out, honestly. I, I knew I, you're not going to be able oh, to yes, handle you this. Are. You don't... 
If that's what you think. No, no, I knew you weren't going to be able to handle this information that I was considering you as an assistant. But even though I don't know what that is. Honestly, I don't don't look like I got it already. I I don't... I think that it's nice that you considered me. And I would... Uh. Do well, my best for the job. I see. Yeah, cool. <laughs> and if you didn't consider me, I wouldn't be pissed at you or anything. Yeah, well, listen, I'm considering you, but understand, and I don't mean this to sound like I'm blowing this off, but you're going to have to be interviewed against other people. This That's... is not a case where, hey, Howard's giving me a job as a perk. No, I understand. Like I did for uh, Ganji with that stupid E show. <laughs> All right? Mm-hmm. This is like real people putting up real big dollars for a big movie. And it's important. And it's an important that. job. I'm a glass egg. A glass egg. You're a glass egg? I'm a glass egg. <laughs> You'll be able to handle it? I'm very much. I'll go in there and I'm breast the sh- out of him. <laughs> <laughs> At least did I don't you... dub no porno tape. Yeah. <laughs> did you consider Ganji? I mean, the truth is, no, no, Ganji's already tied up with this and the stuff. He's previous. overwhelmed. Yeah, already. he's completely overwhelmed. <laughs> I don't need to elevate him anymore. I saw when I elevated him to holding a camera, he got completely out of control. <laughs> well, maybe Gorilla could work the camera. And... I don't know. Truth is, I can't imagine. Gorilla beating anyone out in an interview situation. Mm. That's what I'm nervous about. You're going to be able to handle an interview, a job interview? I always have. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. What have you interviewed for before? <laughs> Every time I've been on my letter. <laughs> what other jobs have you... Write John Alveson a letter. <laughs> what other jobs have you interviewed for? I mean, you a- sent us a letter job. when you... Well, no, but when I interviewed with Gary, I thought it was pretty good. What other jobs? Any other job that I had? Hey, when you interviewed with Gary, it was good. You know, Gary didn't want to hire you to work for free. <laughs> you were tried That's out. Not true. That's only true. because we were in a jam. Did you know that? Yeah. You better get yourself together. Well, you've matured a little. Oh, please. <laughs> oh, please. <laughs> You're going to be able to handle this interview? Yeah. Gary, what happened when? Um, oh no! I, Gorilla... I don't want to hurt your feelings. Oh. I don't. I, I. I don't. I really. I don't remember the interview oh. with Steve at all. Yeah. But I do remember that, for whatever reason, we didn't hire him as an intern. <laughs> And then when you say no, hire, you saying you didn't let him work. I, I know, I, I know exactly. And then, and then what happened was we had so, we had like this job that nobody wanted to do, and Steve was so excited to be here that we let him come and do it. I, I know, was, I, I can which was listening that. to tapes. I, and then he did that. And then he said, and then we sort of like grew to like him. Right. And then we said, I, okay, you can come on over. I can over. tell you the exact scenario. <laughs> it, it was that you you chose the other girl over me supposedly. This, you said, you know, you supposedly. No, because she, she lived in the city, and you said that we have a problem with interns getting here on time. And right. she lives in the city. She lives very close. You've proven yourself to be loyal and hardworking. So that is way. why. That is why. Believe me. I even bring this up to you now, Robin. You might think I'm insane. Uh, well, I've always thought. But that. you know what? Yeah. Your hiring practices. Yeah. <laughs> you bring up a great point though, because even I was a victim of this on the TV show. Sometimes you would say things to me like. Hold my wallet. All you have to do for this entire day is hold my wallet or hold my jacket or something like that. And then what would happen is you'd get so engrossed in watching you, like, making out with women and everything. When you wanted it, we'd forget to give it to you. We'd just become so engrossed in the action. Yeah, yeah. Well, Gary is such a blank slate. I would say to these guys, when when I cut my videos, I'm doing Bup Bongo Fiesta. i I say, okay, Ganji, your job today (laughs) is to hold my wallet. Right. Or to hold my coat. Mm Mm-hmm. I said, he goes, what? I, got, I got other things to do. I said, no, no, no. You're now relieved of all responsibility. I just want you holding my coat. I don't want my coat stolen. I've had that happen to me because I guess cause yeah, I'm well, famous Yeah, well, you know how that would happen is usually you would lose your coat for yeah. a while on the set. Yeah. Because the person who was supposed to be taking care of it had other duties and yes. they would get distracted. So you would then assign them only yeah. the duty and all the of guys, holding your coat. And whoever I choose to do this assignment then starts to think it's not an important assignment. They go, I can't believe Howard is demeaning me <laughs> by making me hold this coat all day. And this is all that's important to me. I, the only reason you're here is to make me happy. <laughs> and all I want to do is hold on to my coat. Because you can't do two things at once. Right. I don't. I can't hold my wallet. My, I'm, I'm enclosed for the for the set. I'm, I'm either dressed as Ricky Ricardo or a woman or something. No, I'm talking about them. You had already mm. tried them once with other jobs yeah. and the coat, and they Ganji, had failed. Yeah, because I let you hold my coat for the day, and you failed me. Did no, you? no, 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 no. no he he was, was good on butt bomb. I, he on did good. Bongo, with water, I was there every three seconds with water. Yeah. Your jacket. I was like five feet away. Ganji from was actually water. able to get water and hold my jacket at the I same time. I remember the day. <laughs> Yeah. And, food, you, and I got your food. That you the became you completely yelled. responsible for the coat. It was the day we were shooting inside the uterus. Yes. And Ganji lost the coat. No, he did not. Yes, you did for You're a long lying. while on the set. And no, no, no. That's when I went eight. No, no. He called for his yes. coat. You're right. You weren't there with the coat. No, and that's no, when no, I assigned yes. you no, only no, to my coat. Yes. Here's no, what I, happened. I know exactly I, what happened. What happened was... What? What? Robin, I never put that coat so down. let me tell you what happened. He assigned it to you. Yeah, let me tell you what happened, Gangie. You don't. You, I'll refresh your memory. 
We were on the set, and one of your right. jobs was to hold the coat. You were up to, we had many different, people were assigning you different things. Right. And you'd put the coat on a chair for a second. I look over, and I see the coat on a chair. I said, didn't I ask you to hold, hold my coat? You went, no, I, I'm holding it, but I, I said, no, you're not holding it. It's on a chair. I don't want my coat on a chair. I want you holding it. I have my reasons. Don't question my reasons. Just hold the coat. But I got to go do I said, from now on, I'm relieving you of all responsibility. Your okay. whole reason for being here is to hold my coat. You are a human okay. hanger. <laughs> That's exactly what you said. Yeah. <laughs> All right. But after that, and then after I assigned him to hold my coat, uh, Ganji's father threw a party for him. <laughs> you know, because he was so proud of him. <laughs> Did you hold Howard's coat the whole day? We're gonna throw a big party for I you. I graduated they from PW invitations. Post, summa cum coat rack. <laughs> <laughs> they were invitations and everything. I'll never forget a Ganji's dad. Ganji graduated from like the world's worst college. Yes. Yeah. And Gagey's father threw him a, like a $15,000 party. He threw him a wedding. He threw him a wedding. <laughs> they were very proud. Yeah, they were very proud. Now they'll throw him a party with a cake the shape of, an, of a coat hanger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, you know, like everyone was insulted when I said, okay, now your job is to hold my coat. And he pouted. And I wasn't I even doing it to bu bust anyone's balls. I j you know, because it makes him look bad in front of girls because he has to walk around with Howard's coat and all this stuff. I know what's going through his head. He wants to look important. I said, look, I don't care. My coat keeps getting lost. And you know what's more important? Nothing's more important to me than my coat yeah. right now. You know, it is very important. Once I had to do it yeah. when we were in Cleveland at some place. You and, you, and you messed up. And I messed up. I was doing something else. You lost else. my coat. Because I was doing something else. He, he lost it. Just, that just, was the coat that disappeared no, at that house. He right? lost my shoes, too. Oh, my wow. Shoes. Remember I put you in charge of my shoes? No. <laughs> I don't remember. And then, and then we had to send to Cleveland. They had to airmail them to us. Ah, yeah. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, I was going to rip your head off. Because I remember when Ralph just sort of lost it and wound up in the pool. Yeah. He forgot you, your coat, everything. Yeah, Ralph was in charge of my clothes. Next thing I know, he's in the pool with naked girls. I couldn't know. Yeah, you know what it is? When you hang around Not, me, there's a lot of exciting yeah. stuff going on. That's, that's and everyone gets lost. Like, Baba Booey gets lost. He's watching. You know, G Gary starts watching because he's being entertained. He and the, gets in gross. Yeah, and the mouth opens up. He's not doing anything. Right. His, his mouth opens up. The drool starts to pour out. Mm -hmm. And he's staring there looking at Boff. Like, you know, <laughs> Boff. Ooh. Yeah, boff. <laughs> That's my boff. That's my boff acting. <laughs> so I'm afraid Gorilla, while he hasn't done this before, I, he I could can't... get terribly carried away. You know, I'm going to be pretty tense doing a radio show and shooting a, a film. Everyone's pretty much informed me that I'm going to be out of my mind because you got to stand around and wait, and and I'm going to be real cranky because I get up at four in the morning. And um, you know, if you start screwing up, then we're really going to have a problem. I totally understand that. What do you think you have to do as my assistant? I would think that you'd have a schedule set out for the day. And that you have to be here, here, here at certain times and you need what to What do you say? Things. You don't think he can handle it? No. He's got really bad dry mouth. Uh, he's he's interviewing. Are you... <laughs> it's the morning. I, it's morning. I'm nervous. I'm morning is nervous morning, morning, now. Morning, morning no, is nervous By afternoon, I wet up. Yeah. <laughs> I get juicy in the afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> I still got toothpaste, toothpaste mouth. Yeah. Yeah, I get toothpaste mouth. I get toothpaste mouth. Oh, you're supposed to rinse it out? <laughs> <laughs> I just suck on it. Yeah, I don't have a brush. Can I be your assistant? <laughs> I think of everything. I rub soap under my arms and I wait until like 12 o'clock before I wash it off. <laughs> this, guy wants to, this guy will be my assistant. I'll go out of my mind. He don't even know how to brush his teeth. <laughs> I like you, though. I'm going to let you get an interview. How's that? That's that's fine. All right. Thank you. That's more than I can ask. And that'll be the most happening job out of all the interns. Trust me. Yeah. Definitely. But for you to get it, it's a long intern. shot. You, this, this, that's like the Rocky movie. The, 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 the odds are a million to one he'd beat Apollo Creed. The odds are a million to one you're going to get this production <laughs> you know what? job. You know John may be inspired to do another yeah. movie if Gorilla gets it. Yeah. <laughs> all right. I'm gonna, I have you in mind. I'm going to make you one of the candidates. Thank you very much. All right. Yeah, you can leave. We're going to take a break. Videotape that interview. Oh, yeah. Man. Oh, oh, man. That's, that's, that's pressure. Pressure. Too much pressure. Too much pressure. <laughs> can you imagine him in a meeting trying to get a job done? No. I, I would like to um, tell you that I could get how, how, how much coffee. I could get his coffee. I could get his sides. I could get his potato. But I also would like to share this with you. The film, I believe, will qualify as a polemic, which one cannot deny the unbelievable emotional qualities and the barrage of powerhouse images that will lie in the film. Therein, I believe, Ooh. lies the strength, Mr. Appleton. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> I think Fred's on crack. <laughs> I, I wish you could handle yourself that well. Uh, Sounds like Fred wants to get yeah. <laughs> All right, let me take a break. Don't and then when we come back, let's take some phone calls and stuff right after these words. 
So anyway, I fired Gorilla after he told me that Amy Lynn was seeing someone. Oh, you don't want him. Even the guy who brings you that story hey, can't work here. Kill don't the messenger. Kill the messenger. That's right. I killed the messenger. <laughs> he was so angry because of the news. You know how they always say, don't kill the messenger? Right. I killed the messenger. Well, that happens all the right. time. You bring the bad news and you get it. Come here, you little bald son of a bitch. <laughs> you yeah, short, bald bouncer. Yeah. <laughs> Got fiery red. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, he told me that. I freaked out. But I guess she, it's true she's not calling in to defend herself. Of course. Long time boy. Was he good looking? Did you find out? Gorilla said he was good looking. <laughs> hey, man, what's your problem? I'm down. Hey, Gorilla, how are you? Uh, what? I can't understand what you're saying. I thought I was doing you a favor. Thought I was doing you a favor. Why? What do you have to tell me for? Why are you doing me a favor? She's not my girlfriend. I'm a married man. Doing me a favor. Okay. Okay. At first thing in the morning, he goes, so uh, guess who came in? He goes, guess who came into the club? Your girlfriend last night. <laughs> I go, yeah, who's that? Amy Lynn. And she was do diamond yet. Yeah. She was I didn't say I mean, that. What, what do you think? She's my real girlfriend or something? No, I was just huh? telling you, man. So what are you telling me for? What are you saying she's my that. girlfriend for? I didn't say that. Everyone knows Ashley Richardson's my girlfriend. <laughs> Everyone who's anyone knows that. He doesn't date penthouse pets. He dates supermodels. Yeah. Sports Illustrated. Amy, Amy's always going to be just taking her clothes off for a living. Ashley doesn't even have to take her clothes off. She just gets in a bathing suit and guys freak out. Hey, Gorilla, next time you see me, why don't you just punch me in the nuts? Ah. That would hurt me, too. It, it could have been you know worse. I mean? I you might as well just punch me in the nuts if you want to hurt me. It could have been worse. I could have told you the guy actually looked like you. Yeah, did he really? That's what other people are saying. Really? Yeah. He was a tall guy with curly hair? Well, I don't have curly hair. Rob was he wearing hair dark out. glasses? Yeah. No. He was wearing shades? No. Did he look, did he have a big no. nose and a... I, I, bizarre, I, a bizarre forehead. I, I didn't. I didn't look at him too long, but like two people came up to me and said, "Wow, that guy kind of looks like Howard." Oh, Jesus! You're kidding. No. Yeah. Well, you didn't find out anything like what he does or anything. No, but I, I know she's like very into him. Oh, really? Was she hanging all over him all night? Yeah, she was. I was drunk. She was drunk. I think the guy was drunk. Everybody was drunk. Really? Yeah. So what does that got to do with whether she likes him? I don't I know. Think I, if you have to be drunk to be with a guy, then how come you don't like him? No, I don't... I, Why was she making out with him and stuff? She was sitting on his lap and stuff. Yeah, figures. And then I sat on his lap. Double Croza. Dude, Dima. <laughs> Dude, Dima. Dude, Dima, double Croza. Really, has some like, He sits around and watches other guys make out with beautiful women. Yeah, right. And he thinks he's... And he thinks I didn't he's say they something. make out. Can I lick your tongue? I want to see how she tastes. <laughs> how do you know she's really into him, then? She said she was. <laughs> What'd she say to you? <laughs> she basically... <laughs> <laughs> she said she was. She <laughs> said she really loves him. <laughs> oh, yeah? yeah? Good. Well, she's never on this show again. Ever. Oh! You understand? Thanks to you. Ouch. Ouch. What do you do? You're a bouncer at the club? No, I, I work in the uh, VIP room. And what do you do there? I changed Basically, the make sure everybody who's there is taking what care of What do you do? I changed the bee cakes. The pea cakes? The little pea cakes that you put in the urinal. <laughs> <laughs> Are you done with that? Sometimes then they're in the middle of it and I change it. What do you do there, Gorilla? Like, if, if anybody comes important, like, of, uh, like a friend of the uh, owner or something I like that. I wipe them. <laughs> I make sure they're taken care of. They have a waitress and stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah? Your job is to make sure somebody gets a waitress? Yeah, and they're taken care of. Yeah? And that no one that, that shouldn't be in that area isn't. Area? 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 This is your when, area. When he's not here, when he's here, he's getting me food. And when he's at some club, he's making sure some other guy's getting food. Right. He's worked that into a career. Right. That's very ingenious. You're like a, you're like the the head food server of all time. <laughs> he's a caterer. Yeah. I'm a caterer. No, a gator. A, a gator. A gator. A gator. A gator. With a G. I'm the area. Gator. What is it, Ralph? Take that microphone. Bad a boy. Hey. It's really funny because you know Gorilla like says. You know, he works there and works up in the room, and he's like, come by, come by, I'll put you on the list. Puts me on the list. You know, there's a house list or something. Yeah. 
Nobody, nobody ever heard of me. Nobody ever heard of him. I'm like, no, I'm, I'm, that's not, that's not my fault. It's, it, it, that's the way they want to run the club. They don't want to have anybody on the list. So, so why would you tell Rafi's on the list? Because I, I go down and I tell these guys, and, and they choose to ignore it. They, no, they, no, they no, do that to me. everybody. You invite Ralph, and you say, I'm going to put you on a list, knowing full well that the There's list no is meaningless. List. No, it depends. It depends who's working the it door. Depends. <laughs> Well, why don't you tell them that? I do. This is happening. Really? I do. Last time I just said, ah, screw it, and I walked away. <laughs> That's not my fault. That, you know, I mean, Gorilla I, says, hey, I'll put you on a list. Yeah, I'll put yeah. you on the list, and you won't. You have absolutely no clout at your job. No, I don't. That's the way they choose to run the club. But, but, but why would you tell? Why would you put him on a list then? <laughs> they yank him. I said, I tell you, I'm like I, a big I, man. I, no, I said I'll do the best I can. But you do the best you can is meaningless because the list I, is I, ignored. At one time. Lonnie Hanover worked at the club, and Lonnie Hanover's list was fine, and then they don't have Lonnie anymore, so I have nobody to give names to for a list. <laughs> yeah, but why would you... How do you get in? That's what we would Is that what you kind of do, like invite people and stuff? You call me, Ralph. Can I come? I said, okay, fine. Oh, okay. Now I... <laughs> well, when's the last time I called you and invited you to the club? Why would you put know, Ralph on a list? If there's no list, yeah, then tell me you're not going to put me on the list or something. I, won't I said I'll do the best I can. Well, why would the best you can? You got to tell them the best I can do is put you on a list that everyone ignores. <laughs> they, they do that to everybody. Yeah, but why wouldn't you tell him? You, you're missing my point. You he work, called me. And you work at a club, right? Ralph calls me. Listen, I'm going to. You know what? You know what? I'm going to tell you something. My yeah. time is highly paid for, <laughs> so yes. I'm giving you free advice. Okay. This is it's got to be worth something to you, so you should listen. Yeah. I'm going to state my question. Mm -hmm. And then I want you to give me an intelligent answer. Okay. Or the best answer you can give. He'll do the best he can. All right. <laughs> do the best you I work can. at a club, am I correct? Yes. Okay. At that club, your responsibility is that you are someone who oversees VIPs and make sure they're treated properly. Exactly. Okay. If someone was to call you and say, hey, Gorilla, put me on the list so I can get in to the VIP area. If I was you, I would say the following. The list, I, there is no list. It is meaningless. They ignore me. Nobody knows I work there. I can't help you. Nobody knows my name. I can't help you. And here is what you say instead. This is what you have been saying in the past. Okay, I'll put you on the list. Come on by. Now can I right. answer? Go ahead. Okay. At one time, there was a list that I could put somebody on. And, and Was that the time you invited Ralph? I invited Ralph in the beginning. This, this, when Lonnie, when, no, no, wait, no, wait. No. When, 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 Lonnie, when Lonnie worked there, <laughs> I gave something. Every, the time you invited, three times you invited Ralph. Has he ever gotten in? Has he ever gotten in? Yes. Oh, he has? Yes. Is that true, Ralph? You got in? I, I got I got in once because I stood out there and I waited for somebody else who came by who I knew. Right. But it was never because... Of now, Ralph. now, listen. Right. I, I haven't called Ralph and invited him at all. Ralph calls and wants to come. So I... All right. I said, so I'll you do wait, 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 wait. You've invited me a couple of times, but I've called when? you. I've called you. You've, uh, you've called me and I've, you've talked to me on the phone and said, come on down. Like you, you yeah, I haven't done up. that in a long time. Yeah, I haven't done that. that you've done, I haven't done I that get in. in well over a month. But that was time, before but, Christmas. But the times that you did it, I didn't get... Oh, before Christmas. Christmas. But why would you invite again. people if they can't get in? Because at that time, they should have been able to get in. But they but didn't. I wasn't able to get in any. <laughs> so that's not my fault. I don't, I'm don't. i not a bouncer. I don't yes, work Yes, it is door. your fault. Why would you invite someone and say, represent that you can get somebody in and have them come down there and then not get them in? But forget it. I don't care. I have never... Under, this, is, this is awful. I know. He's I don't actually work the list. Admit you want to be a big shot. About at all. He wants to be a big shot and act like he has some clout at this club. Meanwhile, nobody even knows his name there. Yeah. And then you go inside and he, he he's not really doing anything. What does he do? I don't know. He stands around and talks to the bouncers. Like I make sure who, who. I think they just give him some money so he'll mention it on the air. Yeah. I think maybe once yeah. in a while. But, but honestly, if that was the <coughs> if that was the case. Mm -hmm. Then they would. They, they have two people. Like, there's me and another girl. <laughs> <laughs> there's me and another girl. Yeah, but she's not on the show. Me, you are. But there's me and another girl. That, but they were only. They they always have two people work in that area. So obviously there is a position there. That <laughs> he doesn't do anything either. We both do the same thing. We stand around. Yeah, but she's pretty. She's probably nice to look at. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. Were, 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 why are you? So I, you know what? Either way, I don't care. I'm getting money and I'm, I'm putting food in my mouth. So. <laughs> I'm as good at my job as I am growing hair. <laughs> <laughs> this is why I go nuts around here. All right, good. Congratulations on your job. That's all. Okay, listen. There was obviously a misunderstanding. I gotta go down and watch Gorilla work. I want to see this. <laughs> yeah, we need to go down there with a the crew and watch him do his job. Yeah. So what does he do? He stands there. I don't know. He 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 talks. Does he wear a suit? 
He, he I have to be around. <laughs> he does he about wear him. a zoot? Does he wear a zoot? <laughs> no, seriously, girl. I mean, maybe you do something there, but I've never seen it. <laughs> <laughs> so you'd like that job, right? Yeah, I want to go hang it's, out. It's sort of, it's yeah, sort of an awkward. Bit. It's sort of an awkward job there, definitely. Boy, yeah, I just I have to make sure I'm around if the owner, uh, you know, if there's anything that ever happens. And one time there was a lot of celebrities there. Yeah. So it was sort of like. Yeah. yeah, I'm your ambassador. <laughs> it's sort of an awkward job because it's I have to job. be there if the boss comes around. Uh, yeah, yeah, but job sometimes you know. <laughs> job yeah. you know that you don't have to be there when the boss comes around. <laughs> it's sort of an awkward job. It's sort of an awkward job. Sometimes I'm boss... looking for a job where I don't have to be there when the boss shows up. No, like <laughs> and being there is like hanging around and looking at girls and having drinks. Right. Yeah. It's like yeah, it's Basically. an awkward job. It, it, <laughs> okay. Why is it an uh, you, Wait a minute. Do you have to pay for drinks? Um, sometimes. Um, oh, my God. Um. I did, so it's like going to the... I asked, I asked, I asked, I asked for... They have drink, they have drink tickets there, and I asked once, and, then, and the, uh, the owner told me, he goes, hey, pay you. What, am I going to buy you drinks, too? So I said, all right. So I buy my own drinks. Uh -huh. But you can drink on the job. I don't. I don't get really drunk. I, I'll have a couple of beers, but that's about it. I take my Excuse me. Do people put out cigarettes in your mouth? <laughs> Sometimes. I'm trying to figure out what he does. <laughs> Human ashtray. <laughs> Once he then walks. All right, good for you, man. All right, sounds pretty cool. I still don't understand why it's a high pressure job. Or I didn't say high pressure. Awkward, awkward. It's awkward. It's awkward because I could lose it at any second. Because <laughs> somebody's going to find out I'm does. not doing yeah. anything. He doesn't do anything. He's not sure what he does. <laughs> Quick, i got to look busy, but I don't know what to do. One time there was a lot of celebrities there. What did you do that night? You can tell Gorilla hates when Ralph goes on him. I was very great? awkward. <laughs> What'd you do the night there were a lot of celebrities there? That was a big night for you, right? There was basically a lot of people that wanted to get in, and my job was to make sure, like, that none of them in. <laughs> the people, the people that were supposed to be there were I'm there. Sorry, JFK Jr., you're not on the list. <laughs> let me understand something. Get out of here. When was your job? When, let me in. You're saying at one time your job was really important. Well, there was a lot of celebrities there. Right. So now what I had to, like, I had to make sure that the people that were inside the area were people that should have been there. <laughs> Excuse me, are you supposed to be here? Exactly. If you have to ask, should they be in there? And now the What would you do? Would you check their pass or something? No, I basically had to find out why they were there. Excuse me, what makes you think you're a celebrity? Uh, so, like, did you ever catch any people who shouldn't be in the area? No, yeah. no, D. You did? Yeah. And what do you do? <laughs> I, I either ask get them down. to go or I have and to how do they get in the, how do they get in the area? How do there's, they get... there's, there's ways of sneaking in, uh -huh. just like any place. <laughs> They pretended to work there. And did you ever ask a celebrity if they were supposed to be there and it turned out they were supposed to be there? Not a celebrity, just, mm. you know, pe people in general. How do you decide who's supposed to be there? Like, yeah, what's the criteria? Uh, basically, if they, don't, if, they don't, if, if they don't know the owner, they're not supposed to be there. All right. Very good. Well, you clearly know your job. So what do you go up and ask them? Do you know the owner? No, it's, excuse me. <laughs> excuse me, do you know excuse the owner? Me. No. Yes, you know this man? <laughs> who, who owns this place? Usually, uh, <laughs> what's the password? Huh? Who's the owner? No, if, if they're trying to get in. If they, if they say there's somebody and they try to get in, <laughs> if, if, they, if, if, the owner, yeah. if the owner the owner said, if I don't bring them in, then they're not allowed in, period. So that's right. it. Right, so that's your job. You have to like, cruise the place. But now there's not a lot of celebrities, so now you just... No, now the, now the owner just said, walk around and... Fill the place up with good-looking chicks. Good. You know, you know that's what they're I celebrities because they put them on the list and nobody let them in. Right. <laughs> do you ever get in a fight where somebody doesn't want to leave and you, it's up to you to get them out? No, that's not my job. No? I wouldn't deal with that. Everybody's drunk. I you know? see. I just go to the bouncer and go, uh, excuse me. Right. All right, very good, Gorilla. Good All right, there's Gorilla's job. Excuse me. Tattletail. Yeah, it's a tattletail. It's a paid tattletail. He doesn't he's belong here. He Giggy Zay. He's a safety guard. Giggy Zay. Giggy Zay. This is very awkward. I don't want to do this. He doesn't know the owner. Right. There. The that owner. guy right there doesn't know the owner. I'm a daddledale. Quickly, what's his name? Don't hey, Ralph, get out. Like overstay your chance in here? No, time to go, no, right? I'm having a good time. <laughs> Ralph wants to stay and goof on you. Out, At least you don't have to wear a dress this week, you faggot. That wasn't that awkward for me to say. I throw you out of the club with your dress on, faggot. <laughs> now, maybe we should have Ralph come to the club afterwards and try to pick up some guys. Sure, man, whatever you want. <laughs> well, he'll be a pretty Will you let me in, man? Or you you put me on the list? I don't think Ralph no, going to make you in. wait. I'll make you wait out. Put time. Ralph on the list that you have no influence over. I don't. I have no influence whatsoever. I got the list, but it means nothing. 
I'll put you, you on the list, but it means nothing. At least if he said, I'm going to put you on a list, that means nothing. Yeah. You know the score. No, I, you know what I told I even I even told you before. I said, I don't know if I can get you on the list. I said, I'll meet you outside at a certain time, and then I'll just bring you in myself. I, re I remember that one. Yeah, and I you never even showed up. Like so. Like 20 minutes, and I didn't see you. Yeah, I told you what time to be there. You weren't there, so it's your fault. I'd be there at the 105. <laughs> I got there at 105. I was there. And when I was there, yeah. he was gone. He minus 20 seconds and counting. And then what happened? You asked anyone? You, you, asked, you said, hey, yeah, I know Gorilla? Yeah, like, like there, and there's like all these bouncers and all these lists and people floating around. I'm like, um... So and every good. dweeb in the, in the universe is getting in, but yeah, you... Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're just walking by and I'm like, uh, you have Gorilla? Rob, do you ever think maybe they, I did it on purpose? And then you uh, ask... Maybe you did, <laughs> And then you... <laughs> gorilla list. I'm funny. I don't have my own list. And then when you say to the guys who work there... Uh, I'm I'm friends with Steve Grillo. Yeah. Who? Is they that have, what they said? Who? Who? They have different bouncers uh, there every and weekend. And so describe them and they still didn't know who he was? Yeah, I said he's like this short. He's yeah. How does he, he get people still... in if the bouncers don't even know him? I mean, when but, uh, he comes over to get somebody thrown out, how does he even get said he works done? on the house? How good a job could you be doing if the bouncers don't know who you are? There's, bou there's new bouncers every weekend there. The bouncers... Are there's new ones every weekend. So it should be your I know bouncer. one bouncer, this guy Franny. That's a, uh, that's a, I, but how is it that nobody knows you work there? That's amazing to me. It's You've been there easy. longer than them, and they don't know who you are. Because they have, they have more clout than you do. You should throw your weight around a little. Go down to the I know every I... week and say, hey, listen. Imagine if Gorilla was Schindler. Here. All the Jews would be dead. Gorilla's <laughs> list. <laughs> Excuse Gorilla's list. Do, do you know Hitler? <laughs> Get out. <laughs> My uh, boss's name is Hitler. <laughs> Hitler. <laughs> My job is to put everybody in very the oven. Your... And you know, Ralph is a world-class champion glomer. Ralph oh, could yeah, ease his way in anywhere. And, and knowing uh, his name actually kept him out of the club. Finally, he knows somebody yeah. and he can't get in. <laughs> no problem here. All right, very good, girl. Add a way to assert yourself at your new job. I should get a job there, then I can get in. Hang out. <laughs> I have a feeling like Gorilla has trouble getting in. I don't Sometimes. know. Sometimes. Excuse me. I don't know at all. I'm just saying. There, 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 there's, there's, times, there's times where they, like, they close off the section to go upstairs. Yeah. I go to go upstairs, and the guy's like, excuse me. I'm like, I work here. He goes, I've never seen you before. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I swear to God, I work here. Like, let's not make a problem with this. <laughs> I kick your ass. <laughs> let's not make a problem with this. I, I, I swear, I what was upstairs. Amy Lynn doing there? Was she just hanging out, or was she working? No, she was hanging out. Oh, she was hanging out just yeah. to dance and stuff? I no, she was just, doing yeah. Club Ex they were doing that thing at Club Expo with the girls, weren't they? I maybe No, that was with Fred the Elephant Boy. Oh, so, so what oh. is, so she just goes there to hang out? I guess she just went there to hang out. Like, just the party and stuff? Yeah. Does she dance and stuff? She didn't dance. No? Like, like she did just sit on a couch all night with her boyfriend? Sit there and look pretty. More or less. What was she wearing? Short skirt. Yeah. Tight top. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> You know. The uniform. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and she just she just like sits there with the guy and makes out all night. Oh no, she, she was like there. She was up and dancing. There, I think there was. But she was dancing. I just said well, she danced. Boy. Well, the, I guess so. I don't know. I didn't follow her the whole night. I, I saw her there. You are retarded. I saw her there for fifteen minutes. I just asked her. Oh, you know, no, she was just sitting there. Well, then she got up and started dancing. <laughs> Whatever. I don't know what she did the whole night. I didn't follow her around. I saw her for about. But she's a VIP. I was supposed to follow her around. Yeah. Follow her around. She she stays in the section. I asked, wait, 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 I asked if she danced, and you go, no, she didn't dance. And then she I go, didn't dance. what More did she do? What, he what I saw her do was just sit there and hang around and drink. So why don't you just say that? That's what I did say. No, you she didn't. Said she said she, she danced. Dancing. She must. I don't know what the hell she did the whole friggin' night. Friggin See, she could have. She no, 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 dude, dude. What you does? Are amazing. Dude, I'm real tired. What? I had a rough weekend. All right, it's me. I'm all right. Is it you? It's I mean, me. You're it's spaced me. out. It's me. All right. I, I, I worked in Thailand. What weekend. was the most difficult part of that question? I, I don't know. I, I, I'm burnt. I'm burnt. I'm, I'm burnt. Yeah, burnt. you are burnt. I'm burned. I'm spacey. He's all spacey. I'm burnt. I'm spacey. I'm spacey. I, I'm, I'm, I'm very burnt. Stop drinking. <laughs> no, it's not that. You're all confused and muddled. <laughs> Steve's having a, real, a rough time. He and I were talking the other day. He's like, he's like really like at the brink of almost like a postal worker. Oh, really? Yeah. He's Why? under a lot of pressure and stuff. What pressure are you under? I've got... Do you want to hear what my weekend was like? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Friday night, uh, Friday I went to school. I came home, took a little nap. I went to Expo. Got home at five o'clock in the morning. Got up at ten. I painted an apartment from ten until seven o'clock at night. Went home, took a nap. Got back up, went to Expo. Worked until five in the morning. Got up at ten again and painted all day yesterday until like. What are you painting? My you know, my friend, my friend has a side job. He paints apartments, so you, I need money, so I Howard, paint you know, them all weekend. You know what it comes down to? What? The problem is that Steve 
you know, left home and he has an apartment now. Who told him to do that? And his, you know, his parents like got his out. room. You know what I mean? His parents what? You know, they got it out of his room. In other words, he's in other words, he's out of the house for good now. Right, right. And it's really hard because he doesn't make any money and he's broke and he thinks he's really feeling the pressure of the fact that he has to support himself. Well, you're in college, right? Yeah. So I go. Did your dad help you out with a couple of bucks? My dad helps me out with paying school. Oh, he does. Yeah, which is m more than a burden. You know, more, more than he can handle, I'm sure. Right. But the point is, is that he's got this rent to pay every month. <laughs> it's not, and no, so why'd you move out? It's not even the rent that's that's killing me. I got a lot of other bills and debts to pay. That how much? Well, how, how much are we talking about? Yourself in debt. <laughs> it just happens. <laughs> it happens. <laughs> it, it involved a car and a Hocus. divider. Did you have an answer? No, no, no. Ha, 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 don't say that. No, ha, ha. No, all right, you know what, I don't care. You know, yeah. How much money are we talking about here that you're in the hole for? Yeah, I was thinking about it myself. Maybe we should all chip in I was going to give him five hundred I don't want that. Yeah, me too. I don't want that. I'd rather work myself. How much do you need? I'll tell you what. What do you need? I'll tell you what. I'll give you money. I got it. I'd rather work. Five hundred bucks for the rest of, till winter ends. Instead of me parking my car in the garage and, and walking here, I park out front and you drop it off for me. And I'll give you 500 bucks. That's a job. All right. <laughs> that way you earn your money. So are, is that good for you? Does that take care of some things? Is the pressure off? Yeah, it takes care of a lot. How much will it cost me to have you do the same for me? <laughs> Twelve hundred. <laughs> hey, you can have a whole car parking thing. That's right. You're now a valet. You yeah. can wear like I a was little a uniform. <laughs> You're a valet. How much would it cost me if you park Ralph's car but wear a bellhop uniform? <laughs> you know Too much. What? Right. We're uh, just this close to having a stand outside. Yeah. Getting blue dip. <laughs> Lemonade and car drop off. All right, we got to take a break. All right. Good morning. Welcome to the Howard Stern Show. Good morning, Robin. Good morning. What's going on today? Not much. No? No. There's a little problem with Howard. He's in the back. He's not coming in, so I'm taking over the show today. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. I, I didn't know whether you were trying to be Howard or you were... No, I'm just trying to be me. Just trying Howard. to be me. Well, just... say you're Steve Grillo. Well, it's the Howard Stern Show with Steve Grillo. How's that? <laughs> Well, what have you got to say now you're taking over the show? Well, I figure we get to some news. How's that? Want to jump right in the news? <laughs> no, you're supposed to have some kind of opening statement if you're going to take over the show. He is so uncharismatic. <laughs> I'm bald and stupid. How's that? All right. Thank you, Steve. <laughs> Little... Uh, no, no, I, <laughs> Why? 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 Take off the show. How about doing some news? I said, hey, Steve, I'll give you an opportunity. You've been an intern here for 10 years. You go in and take over. Start off. Hey, Howard's not here today. It's the Steve Gorilla Show. Go ahead. Show me what you're going to do. Wow. Hello, everybody. Here's the news. <laughs> Here's the news. Hello, everybody. Here's the news. Here's the news with Robin. I've been waiting for this opportunity. Let me shut up. Here's the news with Robin Gibbons. All right, Steve. Nice job. Thank you. Hey, you were very good. You very com you took a good command of the uh, of the microphone, and you really took over. Thank you. Anybody he claimed that he did a little show over there at Hunter College, and he was controversial. Oh, was he? I almost started a riot in the cafeteria. Let me get this straight. When you were well, you're still at Hunter, right? Yeah. Okay. So you started a radio program over there. I they have a, a really mini school radio. A mini school? Mini school. Mini school. Mini school. It's it's really tiny, and I'm I, confident that Steve will continue to be a loser in 1995. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, so you became the disc jockey over there. Yeah, what did I you had do? a little radio show. Did you I, spin records I, I, or you I, just I talk? Hated, I hated playing music. You don't like playing music. You no. don't like doing that. So it was at the time where you like to talk. You like to do like the, what I do. Yeah, it was right, at the yeah. time where Giuliani was and and Dinkins were. You know, going back and forth. And I think it was the actual day that Giuliani won. Okay. So I, I went on the air and I said, it's, it's, you know, it's a real shame. I said, I come from a very white trash Italian neighborhood. I said, and there was a slogan going around in my neighborhood that said, vote for Julie, not the Mooley. I said, and I, I just I was just stating it, and all of a sudden, like nobody ever listens to the the radio in the cafeteria. Suddenly, the phone rang, so I picked it up, and it was some black girl going, "What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean?" I went, "Nothing. I was just stating what the people in my neighborhood saying. That's bull. That's bull. That's bull. That's bull." And then all of a sudden, I heard everybody in the background screaming, "Get off the air, you white trash piece of crap!" And then then everybody started freaking out, and and then the program director what a came. Story. The program director came and shut the radio off. Shut the whole. 
all the power down to the whole radio station. She goes, what are you doing? I had to stop all these black guys from coming up here and kicking your ass. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, but nobody had listened to, to anything I said. They just heard, like, Mooley, and they went nuts. Oh, Mooley. Vote, vote for Julie. Not the Mooley was better than my other one. Go figure. Who's voting for the nigger? <laughs> that was my other one. <laughs> I'm going to burn down the station then. Who are you? You, you, you. You have such you have no presence whatsoever on the radio. You tell a story, I'm I'm asleep. Okay. I've never seen anything like it. Can you imagine that radio show? Where is the tape of that show? Yeah, I don't, there's no way, there's no way of taping my radio show. I wish no I, I I wish I could have. They didn't it. have taping uh -huh. facilities inside the radio. No, nothing. Studio. I would have had to get a radio and tune into the little tiny weak signal that they had, which yeah. you can't even get inside the radio station. So how did all these black people get it? Because it's just. Sing, it's broadcast into the cafeteria. So in other words, it. when you do your radio show at college... It's like, almost like a PA. It's like a PA. You're really broadcasting into the cafeteria. Yeah, but there is a tiny, <laughs> small signal that reaches, like, maybe out in front of the school if you stand in the right, like, area. That's it. Basically a deli counter with music. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> At some radio station. <laughs> oh, it's horrible. All right. All right. Thank you, Gorilla. You're welcome. Thank you. All right. There he is, Steve Gorilla, who uh, does his own controversial radio program <laughs> over at Hunter College, if you'd like to tune in for that. Yeah, you got to try to find him. Yeah, what you do today is you tune in in front of the school. If you can park directly in front of Hunter College, you'll hear the Steve Gorilla show. Yeah. So I got on the air and then all the blacks was calling up and saying, what's the matter with you, you white twigs? I, 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 I just made a statement. I just made a statement. I like that. I just made a statement. All I did was state that it was said. It wasn't, I wasn't saying it. I was dating it. <laughs> you see, I was just reporting on what was happening in my neighborhood. You see, it's not a personal thing. You're that hero. Well, there was a statement <laughs> in my neighborhood. That's right. <laughs> And they called up and said, you white beast dredge, you white beast, white, white beast of dredge, you white beast of dredge, grab, <laughs> bastard. <laughs> All I did was go on the radio. I don't like to play music, so I try to say about Giuliani and the Dingens. Yes. Dingens. Dingens. I hated Dingens. playing Dingens. the music. Dingens. So then Dingens and uh, Giuliani, it was the day that Giuliani won, and ah, Dingens had cool. lost, and they went on yes. and said in my neighborhood, they did the Mooley. Both <laughs> for Julie, not the Mooley. So <laughs> then, the, then, the, then the black girl called up and go, you stop it. What the, what the heck? What, what are you doing, you white dreams, white bees, drag your grab? That's you bull. Want, that's, that's bull. bull. <laughs> that's bull. That's not even drew. That's not even I, drew. I hate playing records. Like, I hate, I hate playing records. You talk like a three-year-old now. What, dad, dad? I tell you. Why? Because you sound like a three-year-old. That's bull. A I gorilla. I hate playing records because my hair falls on the vinyl. Yeah. <laughs> well, I believe that gorilla is on his way. I believe he's on his way back to the office to get me breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Gabriela. But that's how you dog. You do dog with a new... Grab. Oh, a little bit. You yeah. got a very thick accent. I just want? thought I would come forth. I thought I would come forth and share this with you. <laughs> I, and, and I talk out of... I don't breathe out of my nose. I don't so. breathe out of my nose. I don't breathe out of my nose. <laughs> I don't breathe I out of my nose. I don't breathe out of my nose. I don't breathe out of my nose. Mm -hmm. Ha! 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 <laughs> he just did ha-ha twice and he says, I didn't do it. I didn't it. do it that time. What are you talking about? I didn't do that. Play commercials, right? Come on. Go back and listen to the tape and listen to yourself go, ha-ha. <laughs> I, I guess it's totally unconscious. See, I totally. did it again and I don't, ha -ha. I didn't even know I did that. Totally unconscious. Totally that was totally. I think you're totally unconscious. <laughs> <laughs> that was totally unconscious. Totally. <laughs> 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 All right, very good, Gorilla. Go ahead. You're done now. Sure now. Okay, go back and do your duty. All right. All right. Anyway, uh, that was the Steve Gorilla Hour. <laughs> we got to take a break. We'll start the show right after these words. Hey, Gorilla, get in here, man. We want to listen to your tape. We can take a quick listen to Gorilla. He was with Joan Kennedy. Uh, Gorilla, uh... Here's what happened. Stuttering John goes to this uh, place uh, earlier in the week. He did an interview, or at least he attempted to do an interview with... Who was it, Ron? Luciano Pavarotti. Luciano Pavarotti. And uh, Luciano 
and was about to talk with John, and John got snatched up by a security guard and thrown out. Yes. I believe it was the same guy that did that to me. Yeah, well, this guy better be cool because I'm going to tell you something, man. He can get that bookstore in a lot of trouble. This guy's a mental patient. Really? He's a dick. <laughs> He's a dick. <laughs> Does he put lay his hands on you? He grabbed me by the back of my collar and dragged me out of the store. You could sue the bookstore for that, you know. Really? He's not allowed to do that. Doesn't your neck hurt? Let me tell you something. Bit. The oh. day that a goon is allowed to tell you what you can ask as a journalist. Now, I'm, I'm, listen, Steve Gorilla, when he's holding that microphone and gets permission to uh, ask questions. For a radio station. He's a journalist. And uh, no one is allowed to sit and say, I don't like the question. I'm going to boot you out. That is, he's not allowed to physically lay his Joan hands on had, you. Joan had no problem with it either. It wasn't, I asked the last question. I'm going to look into it uh, because uh, this guy is uh, a little bit uh, nuts. And, you know, someone's got to file a complaint against the bookstore. Cool. Where are these lawyers now who, uh, you know, usually call and say, you don't know what's wrong with you. Go to see this doctor, Mr. Yeah. Gorilla. Yeah. <laughs> well, anyway, so uh, there it is. Gorilla beaten up. Like, uh, you know what this is like? This is like El Salvador. Journalist trying to do his job, and uh, there he is, beaten up. Isn't that right, Gorilla? You got it, boss. <laughs> <laughs> Fred, do your gorilla impression. It's so good. I can't believe it. this guy picked me up and he booted me. Just <laughs> grabbed me by the neck and threw me out of the store. He's a dick. <laughs> <laughs> he does you so well. Yeah, I don't know what good it is. I should just come in and talk like that all the time. I should Why come in and talk like that all the time. I should just do it all the time because Fred's going to do it anyway. Just do it all the time. That's Fred's going to do it anyway. You actually make your words sound like all one word. It's amazing. It's like he's singing. Yeah. <laughs> How are you doing with your radio show? Are you going to be uh, on the air pretty much uh, soon uh, somewhere? You send out any audition tapes? No, not yet. Because your speech is so uh, perfect. <laughs> I can't imagine... Now, you say that you're different uh, when you're doing your own radio show? I don't have my school. The, the funding, thanks to the, you know, uh, Mr. Cuomo, our school's funding was cut, and they do not have a budget for the radio station. So, how so they do not have one anymore. By the way, I would like to thank Mr. Cuomo for that. As a matter of fact, I don't see why taxpayer dollars should go to funding school radio stations. Well, funding... There's basic funding that goes to the school that was cut. Yeah, good. And it's all spread out through different school activities. Yeah, that's, believe me, it's fine. Uh, would you stop banging? What are you doing? He's Sorry. banging on the wood. Oh. So where are you going to get practice to become this great DJ? Believe me, Cuomo did him a favor. He doesn't need any <laughs> practice. When you listen to the radio, do you ever hear anyone who sounds like you? Absolutely not. <laughs> I've never heard anyone that sounds like you Well, that's why he do. feels there's a niche for him, Howard. Do you think that you're so unusual <laughs> that people will respond to you as a radio announcer? Hey, you never know. Hey, you never know. <laughs> hey, you, you never know. You the never funding's know. cut. What was that? The funding's cut. By who? <laughs> Mr. Guomo. <laughs> <laughs> you got no place to do your show. <laughs> so what are you going to do? You don't have an audition tape? So you can send it out to the I radio? I got another two years of school. Oh, you do. I see. So, so get eight, I've uh, got a long way to go. You'll get an audition tape. Okay. So maybe after two more years, you'll have an audition tape. Very possible. All right. Very good. Now, Gorilla um, a actually went to this Joan Kennedy thing and got an interview with her. Oh, well, that's wonderful. All right. Let's hear what that was like. Now, I heard you got very nervous. I, I was, was going to say, how did it feel? I know why John stutters time. now. You do, huh? Uh, whoever thinks that he doesn't stutter, they're, they're wrong. <laughs> I, I got up there and I was... You stuttered. Uh, <laughs> you were nervous? Oh, man. I, think I, was, I was more nervous... Uh, the questions weren't that bad. I no, was we more, gave you easy questions. Definitely. So it was, was your more first time out. The questions weren't that bad. I was worried about asking, but I was more worried about that guy that did that to John right. being at the store because I know he was going to be there. Your questions were fine. Who is this guy to sit and decide whether or not you can be he, in there? He was there. There was some guy. John told me what he looked like, and I saw some guy. I said, that must be him. If Mrs. Kennedy says, uh, you know, I don't want to speak with you, that's one thing. But uh, she, she, was, she was totally happy with the interview. She was talking to you, and this guy can't lay his hands on you. What does he think he is? What is he, a bouncer in a bar? No, I, and it's such a like refined bookstore, and this guy's a dragging me out of the store like well I don't know I, you know he better be cool this guy he just doesn't know what he's doing I think he's a little carried away with himself yeah, you should play it you should hear him he's a nut well uh, whether he's a nut or not I don't know I haven't had a psychiatric evaluation but he cannot he cannot throw you out physically uh, and use force like that I as far as I know am I right Robin it's a public event yeah and the guy isn't doing anything wrong. That's right. So if a reporter shows up and wants to ask questions, he's not uh, endangering anybody in any way. Mm -hmm. He's not impeding progress. So what's the big deal? Well, let's find out what the big deal is. Give this a listen. How you doing, John? Hi, here we go. The bottle. 
Yeah. Now this is gorilla. What you're hearing he's there is making I'm kissing talk. up a little. No, what he's doing is you hear that paper. He's shuffling through papers. <laughs> no, actually, you know what it was? What? I had the microphone in my sleeve, so I was taking it out of my sleeve. Like, oh, I see. Oh. All right. If you want to finish your question for WX, okay? My name is Steve. It's a, it's a classical music station. Oh, hi, Steve. Yeah. yeah. This is classical. It's a classic. It's a classic music station. He goes classical music. I was nervous. I was so scared. What was the first? What did he say? It was a fan of Bach. Oh, Bach. <laughs> I'm a fan of Bach. I actually do like Bach. So <laughs> I wasn't actually lying. <laughs> Okay. Um, and, and the name is Joan Kennedy. Okay. And your name is? No, 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 no. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on. She goes. She goes. I'm doing this for my book. And I, I said the the name is of the book I meant. And she goes. She gives me her name. <laughs> I was trying to plug a book. The Joan Kennedy book. Yeah. And she said yeah. her name. Okay. Um, <laughs> Do you go to, um, excuse me, is, uh, Bill... A lot of concerts. <laughs> yeah, now I know. Why is, um, is Bill Clinton the new JFK? Oh, I don't, I don't know whether I can make a comment on that. I'm just glad he won. Oh, okay. But... Boy, are you nervous? Oh, <laughs> is, is Bill Clinton the new JFK? He's out of breath. He's in <laughs> terrible shape. I almost started with the wrong question. Yeah. yeah. No, I wanted to give her an easy question first. I right. figured Bill Clinton was good enough. So I guess you're Bill Clinton fan? What? You're a Bill Clinton fan. Yes, I am. Oh, very good. Uh, why is JFK so sexy? J JFK Jr. so sexy. Oh, I don't know how to answer uh, that. No. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> I feel bad for Jeff. Yeah. <laughs> You're going to drive her to the bottle, man. <laughs> She's so fragile. Uh, no. Okay, Um. do you still go to AA meetings? Uh, Where did that come oh, from? Man. <laughs> did you have that written down? I thought I crossed that one no. out. That was the very last one. Yeah, you're out of order. There's five you're questions. You're out of order. <laughs> we just signed another one. There was four, and that was the last oh, one. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing what? about the oh. book, mind you. It was four. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing that about the book? Five. No, I still have the questions. You give me, give me the questions. sheet of questions that, that you had. That You're seemed nuts. like a whole list of questions when I saw it. It was all typed out. No, I crossed out most of them. Oh, I see. Can't answer that either. Oh, no? No. Oh, okay. Um, do you think you saw my book? Sure. Okay. What's your name? My name is Howard. Howard? Yeah. <laughs> oh, he just told her his name was Steve. <laughs> she don't know. She's... <laughs> Here, why is JFK Jr. so sexy? Is Bill Clinton the new JFK? Did you know Tchaikovsky was a homosexual? What happened to that? Yeah. It's coming up. It's coming up. It's oh, not done. Finished. Oh. No, not at all. Did JFK ever come on to you? And do you still go to AA meetings? That was the last one. Why'd you go out of order? I just I was just reading whatever was there. <laughs> boy, oh he, boy. He was, he was so I, I, this guy, this guy. Robin, look at this. They're completely numbered and typed. Yeah, yeah. very simple. How could you get those out of water? <laughs> How could you screw that up? It's not, even it's not that I screwed it up. Re -typed. Paper. Yeah, they're typed and everything. Oh, I thought they were on the other page out of order, so maybe it was nervous. No. They're no. typed in order? <laughs> yeah. And he went out of order? <laughs> I was just, you don't understand, that guy was hovering over me. Yeah. He was hovering in the back, and I would try to get as many as I can out before he came and noticed me. So I, whatever I saw on the paper. I read it and I just asked him. All right, all right, let's continue. <laughs> this is the music of the book. <laughs> Joan Kennedy wrote a book about how much she likes classical music. Yeah. I guess some people get a book out of anything. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> now, I'm writing a masturbation book. <laughs> now, during the, now she's signing the book for me. Now. And this is why I didn't say anything because now that guy walks over to the table and I'm just trying not to look at him and I was trying to hide the microphone mm -hmm. and he saw the, the questions in my hand and he tried to grab them from me. Oh my god. He tried goodness. to read them. You can't do that. He had me say excuse me because he's trying to grab them right. from me. Excuse me. <laughs> um, did you know um, Tykowski was a homosexual? Tykowski. Tykowski. Tykob. No, Tykowski, so like a, a Polish guy. Who yeah. was over <laughs> Excuse me, you know Tykowski? Over the way. <laughs> Excuse me. Tykowski. Did you know <laughs> Tykowski was a homosexual? <laughs> <laughs> He's got the papers crinkling. He's like, you know. Tykowski. <laughs> One stupid question. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> Um, did you know um, Tykowski was a homosexual? Excuse me, no, thank this, you. This is where he grabs much. my back. Thank you, I purchased my book. Okay, thank what do you think of Howard Stern? Thank you. <laughs> I was just saying, he, I didn't know As soon that. as I asked that question, that's when he grabbed me by the back of my neck. <laughs> um, did you know um, Tykowski was a homosexual? 
excuse me. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. I approach my bill. Okay. What do you think of Howard Stern? Thank you very much. Do you like? Did you do on a buff on the fiesta? Yeah. Thank you. Wait, wait, wait. Sarah, you can get off my jacket. Never. You can get off my jacket. Sarah, you can get off my jacket. Okay. I'm walking out by myself. You can get off me. Thank you. I'm walking out. Call me, sir. Can you buy the book? I bought the book. I have the receipt. I have the receipt. Okay. Okay. You can get off me. You can get off me. Okay, have a nice day. <laughs> no, no. Woo! Get your ass What? Your excuse me. Don't excuse me. Get off me. me. Get off me. Don't what? say that to me. Say what? What you just said. I said I need a sucking candy. Yeah? You need a sucking yeah. candy? Yeah. Sir, are you inviting me? Get off the mic, sir. Sir. Listen. Sir, we're on the street. We're not in your store anymore. We're not in your you. store anymore. I, I will not go in your store anymore. Fine, okay. That in our store again. I got that. All right. Okay. I didn't say it in your store. Remember that. I was outside. See? He's harassing me outside the street. Sir, don't ever do that again. I'm on public property, all right? That's it. Oh, <laughs> mm, boy. Wow, what a confrontation, Gorilla. Mm, gorilla. <laughs> yeah, I want a second game. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> <laughs> what is it about these guys? I don't know. Well, they, they're uh, $4 an hour security guards, I guess. They got to do their job. They, they're all on a power trip. He's not even, yeah. I don't even know if he's a security guard. I think he works inside the store. Yeah, well, it's okay It's okay for him to tell you to leave, but he just can't start grabbing people. He, like, grabbed the back of my jacket and, and was pushing me down the stairs. And now he's going to tell you what you can say. Right. And I walked out of the store, and then I called him a sucker, and then he came out after me. I was walking out... I was walking on the street and he came running out after me again and grabbed me. But what does he care? You're not very intimidating there, Gorilla. Like, <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> take you. <laughs> well, Gorilla, interesting interview with Joan Kennedy. We learned a couple of things. We learned that uh, why JFK Jr. is so sexy. And mm. Tchaikovsky is... Uh... <laughs> hey, I've been pronouncing that wrong. <laughs> I thought it was Tchaikovsky. Yeah. I didn't know that. All right, I got to take a break here. Very good, Gorilla. We'll be back right after these words. BH1 Fashion Awards. Did all that stuff? It's really a non-event. Never heard of a fashion award. It was the Stubish Model of the Year. Yeah. Who was the Model of the Year? Oh, was it Kate Moss this year? But VH1, like E! and like all these other channels, really have nothing. So they create award shows to get some sort and of attention. people show up. So they even put me in one category so I'd talk about it. But, of course, they, I, as I predicted, they gave it to Will Smith. Yeah. I knew they would. I was for best dressed. Like, I'm the best dressed. I look like a bus hit me. <laughs> <laughs> uh... So anyway, Steve went down there, Steve Grillo, and he ran into some people, like Montel Williams. You know? His wife was there. Yeah. Yeah, Montel always... What is he doing? He's going out to impress his <clears throat> wife. Yeah. Of course he's there. Steve starts talking black to him, and Montel seems genuinely shocked. I don't think Montel is black. What do you think of that? <laughs> with you. Yeah. Well, that's why he was shocked. I think he's extremely tan. <laughs> so here's Steve with Montel Williams first, okay? Let's take a listen to this. Go right over to real two. What the dilly, yo? I'm sorry? What the dilly, yo? What the dilly, yo? See, uh, you can talk black talk to Montel. You don't know what you're talking about. How long does it take for you to get your partner ready for intercourse? How does what? How long does it take you to get your partner ready for intercourse? <laughs> Could you sing a little John Denver for me? See. Uh, what is that last question? Could you sing a little John Denver for me? Boy, you can't even understand. I know. I didn't even know what he was talking about. Whether he's talking white or black. Right. <laughs> Man, you want to be an actor? Sure. No one can even understand what you're saying. He wants to be an actor, and he was talking about on the air show, uh, what's that guy's name? Grant Tinker's son. Mark, Mark Tinker. Tinker. Mark Tinker called here. He's got some sort of hard on for Gary. Grant I think he has a heart over this, yeah. Yeah, Grant Tinker's uh, son Papa called in and gave um, Gorillo a part, a one-line part in NYPD Blue or something. Yeah, yeah that's right? pretty cool. Yeah, pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Did, pretty he give cool. You, did he give you the whole rap about how he was first team? It was really... And he got to be like in the... Ah. He, like he shared the van home with Dennis Brown. I didn't hear anything about it. No. Oh, I yeah. Thought, see, I'm shocked that this is the way he got the part. I thought he actually I had, had to part. No, me too. He I made had to audition. He got me the audition. He I made it seem like that to me too. I, he called up and said, "Look, I, uh, there's a there's a, a part that you can get. It's a one line. And go down and audition for it." And I did. Right. And who do you think watched the audition? Well, he goes through all the people that right. So he gave it, it to you. He, he gave, gave you a bone. Part. You think you would have yeah, gotten that on your own? I, maybe I would have. Maybe I wouldn't. Well, what other parts have you gotten on your own? None. Sure, I have. Where? Um, the movie Silent Prey. I got on my own. 
Silent Prey? Silent Prey. <laughs> Silent Prey. <laughs> what is the movie Silent Prey? That's the uh, movie with that's Carol Shia. Oh, Carol, Carol Shia. Shia. <laughs> you got the, okay, so you got that on your own. <laughs> yeah, I, I stand uh, corrected. That's the same people who put together Grandma Sylvia's feet. I know. <laughs> same people. Same people who, as long as we plug the show, he'll yes. give Gorilla a part. Hey, Amy Heckerling is here. You, you, should, you should go bother her. She's a real director. She won't put you in anything either. Let's face it. So he was vice okay, team. I'll, I'll. It's hopeless. It's hopeless. Why do you? Why are you all sleepy and dopey, man? I feel alive. Well, 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 radio I'm, just, I'm sitting here getting like trashed. Everything that comes out of my mouth. Yeah. So go ahead and do it. I, I am do doing it, it, but try to act normal. <laughs> <laughs> well, what am I going to say? No matter what I say, it's the same story. I mean, why would you, you want to be talk. a director? You, got no you can't talk. How can you be a director? I mean, a, 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 an actor. How can you be an actor yeah, if you can't It's a different talk? story when you're acting lines and I'm sitting here getting beat up by five people at once. But you're out at the uh, MTV Awards, the yeah, VH1 yeah. Awards. I'm screaming. He's running away. I'm trying to scream something to him. All right, here's Dennis Hopper. You know who Dennis Hopper yeah, is? the actor All who's right. in Blue Velvet and Speed and a number of other Right, things. here you go. Dennis! <laughs> Mr. Hopper! <laughs> Mr. Hopper! Mr. Hopper! Mr. Hopper! Mr. Hopper! Hi! What the deal, yo? What? What the deal, yo? What do you do, yo? What do you think? Do you think that the Pope is evil like Whoopi Goldberg does? Of course. Is Donald Trump sexy? Of course. How long does it take you to get your partner ready for intercourse? Oh, man. We're ready all the time, you know? Would you sing a little of your favorite John Denver song? No. No? <laughs> Thank you. Oh, that was a good interview. Yeah, he answered all the questions. That's where he draws the line, though, with right. John Denver. No. Yes, that's not funny. Here's Norm MacDonald from Saturday Night Live. Okay. Let me ask you a question. Let me just, uh, all right, uh, what the dilly, yo? Why do I get you? <laughs> What's the deal, yo? Why do I get you? How long does it take for your partner to get ready for intercourse? I don't get I get you? You sing a little of your favorite John Denver song? I get f***ing gorilla? <laughs> you insulting me? Where the f*** is John? Why do I get you? Sing a little of your favorite John Denver song. My whole life, and I get you. Well, well, sing a little of your, your favorite John Denver song. Oh, uh, does, he, does he sing Sunshine on My Shoulder? Sing a little bit. I can't sing. Oh, why not? I'd sing for John. What the f*** oh. is <laughs> Um... <laughs> no, wow. Norm upset to get Gorilla. <laughs> His moment, and he gets Gorilla. The Celebrities thing. demanding stuttering job. Michael Moore, who made the movie. Roger, Roger and me. me. Right. I saw him in Cannes when I was in France promoting oh, yeah. my movie, yeah. He's a nice guy, Michael Moore. I just saw Roger and me again. They've been playing it on Bravo. Yeah. It really was a great documentary. He's been trying to do stuff ever since that movie. He was doing some weird thing outside. He was doing like some anti anti paparazzi skit where he was like riding around on a moped chasing people with like cameras and stuff. It Does was really weird. Is that Comedy Nation show? I don't know. It comes and it goes. Yeah. He's a weird dude, Michael Moore. Yeah. All right. Here he is, Michael Moore with Steve Grillo. Would you sing a little of your favorite John Denver song? Sunshine on my show. Is Donald Trump sexy? I'm leaving on a jet plane. Is Donald Trump sexy? Fill up my sense. He's got a good voice. Like a night in the ocean. He's like a woman. Like a night in the ocean. <laughs> like a night in the ocean. <laughs> you fill up my senses like a. a don't tell me. Like in, you fill okay. up my senses like a night. I don't know. In the forest. Uh, I thought it was desert. No. <laughs> Here's Fiona Apple. Wait, this is in the press room now. Yeah. Gorilla was out on the line, so now he's in the press room. And it takes almost nothing to piss Fiona off. Yeah, what did we ask her? Just, you see, it's about uh, her video. She giving the wrong message to young girls. Oh, that's it. That'll make her angry. You, you know, we know exactly how to get her angry. She's always into her message. But yeah. she, goes, she goes from zero to 60 like that, Howard. Yeah. This went from, like, someone asking her her favorite Slurpee to this question. Right. <laughs> Yeah, my makeup artist is Kristen Baran. Fiona, right here. Do you, uh, don't you feel bad that you send a bad message to young girls and you portray such a victim in your videos? When I portray what? Such a victim in your videos. Oh, well, I'm <laughs> sorry that you feel that if a woman's in her underwear, then she has to be a victim or a slut or a bad, bad girl. Uh -oh. But if you didn't get the irony of the video, I'm sorry, but there was irony in it. And I'm, I'm a good example for young girls, and you'll learn that. Ooh. <laughs> 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 what happened 
that, what happened to the boyfriend? Did you didn't use the boyfriend? No, it was too, it was too strange. Her boyfriend was I don't know something something weird was going on. Yeah, but he kept backing away from the microphone and kept and cursing and stuff. Yeah, I think Grillo got thrown out of the press room. This is a quickie. <laughs> Let him stay. Let him stay. Some of the press started yelling out, let him stay, but that's because Doug, our E guy, uh -huh. stood in the background and started yelling out, let him stay. <laughs> yeah, but you know what? The press room was so lame. In two hours, they had three people. ZZ Top, Fiona Apple, and Andy Dick. Yeah, that's because it's VH1. Who else was there? Yeah, but th there was tons of celebrities there. They, they, would, they couldn't get anybody in the press room. Really? Yeah. Well, what? The Rolling Stones were there. Jim Carrey was there. Courtney Love was there. Like, there was huge people. Like, Jimmy Smith was there. There was all these people there. Nobody came to the press when room. When you worked on NYPD Blue, did you work with Jimmy Smith? Yeah. You did? Did you have a line with him? Yeah, I had lines with Dennis France and Jimmy Smith. I and, um, only had Delaney. one line. And what is your part? I play a narc. And, like, it's sort of like they're about to bust into a, um, I guess, a drug house. And I come and I give them the, the deal on what's going on, the dilly on what's, what's the going. line? What's the line? Well, they say, you know, Jimmy Smith is like, well, what do we got? I said, a rope head scumbag. You got eggs in the front, back, and the side. And I said, okay, let's go. How many times do they have to I mean, how many takes? I don't know one thing he just said. Rope scumbag is with the eggs in the front, in the side. Marlon Brando? He's learned to mumble as an actor? He said, a dope head scumbag with the boys in the eggs in the front, and the on the side. Got that? Do your line again. Do it clear. Rope head scumbags. You got eggs in the front, back, and the side. <laughs> well, he's a scumbag. Did you do it yeah, just like that? No, I did. Sorry. Well, do it the way you did it. I, you know, I, I, do I, your I, line. Wait, give me the setup. Wait, yeah, I'll be Jimmy. Give us our lines. I'll be Jimmy Smith. Robin could be Dennis Franz. Um, <laughs> the line is, you're Jimmy Smith. Is what do we got? All right. Okay, the, scene, the, the thing. And what is, does Dennis Franz say? Dennis Franz is like just right behind Jimmy Smith. All right, you stand right behind me, right? right. right. Are you ready? Here we go. Okay, what do we got? Rope head scumbags. We got agents on the front side and the back. Ropehead scumbag? Ropehead. Ropehead scumbags. We got boys. It's sort of like, I guess it's a derogatory term for like Rasta Varian. It's a derogatory dungeon in Durant of Avenue. I wonder if Amy Herkeling is listening to this. Man, I, I got to see this episode. I had to have Amy Herkeling because I never met her, but I think right. she's so cool because she did the movie Clueless and Fast Times at Ridgemont High. Uh -huh. Did you ever see her? No. She's cute. Though. Is she really? Real cute. Well, let me doll myself up. Hold on. How do I look, Rob? Is she a rope head scumbag? <laughs> She's a rope head scumbag. A rope head scumbag. I guess Nicole uh, Bass was on the E show the other night. Oh, yeah? Yeah, the bodybuilder. She's become a big television star. Well, yeah, she was on our show, and this guy says, I am telling you, there's no way that that is genetically a woman. <laughs> I'm not a medical expert. That's the bodybuilder from our pay-per-view. I'm not a medical expert, but I remember from biology classes learning that some babies are born with sex chromosomes that do not match the external genitalia. Mm -hmm. This guy's saying it's impossible to be, a woman, to be a man and still have a vagina. It is possible. He says, you need to ask Nicole if she's ever had DNA testing done to determine, to determine her sex chromosomes. Well, I've always said we ought to do it. Why don't we get a DNA tester in here? You know what it is with her? I, I see her. I work out at her gym. Yeah. So I'm there like every day, and I see her every day. When she competes, she gets really intense looking. She gets cut, and her face gets really... I don't like, know, like, man. Like no woman has her... a voice like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she sounds like Herman. But Gary, got... arrange for DNA testing if Nicole will go along with it. Thank you. What is it, uh, Gorilla? Well, this, this, someone had told me this... Like that I met on the street. Yeah. That someone... here is Gorilla giving us, us his excellent command of the English Someone language. Someone had told me this. Someone, Someone had told me this. On Why does every sentence he say sound like the grammar just went right out the window? He tries to use every word he knows. Yeah, I know, I know. I mean, you explaining stuff, man. <laughs> Gorilla, you're pathetic with the English language. Thank you. I've never okay, seen anything you. like it. Thank you. Someone. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. All right, what were you saying about Nigo Bed? Who told you? Someone Who had told you? Nigo. Nico Bez. It seems so irrelevant right now. Laura, what, what did they tell you? How about someone on the, that you met on the street told you what? That, 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 that their friend was a nurse. That what? Their friend was a nurse and they had, you know... Fred was a nurse? Their no. friend, Fred, was a Fred, nurse. Was a nurse. <laughs> Fred was a nurse. Fred was a nurse. Fred was a nurse. Oh, their friend was a nurse, yeah. yeah. And they had treated her for some reason or another. Oh. And that she had actual... Oh. Both oh. sexes, that she was like a hermaphrodite. 
Who said that? I'll get out of here. That's insane. That's just a vicious, vicious rumor. A maphrodite. A maphrodite. You're insane. He's a maphrodite. I don't understand three words you say. Red, 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 red is a maphrodite. Red is a nerd. And he treated it. And he was in the van. Both sexes. All right, thank you. Both sexes. Both sexes. Dad, dad, dad. He was an maphrodite. Dude, did you take grammar in school or anything? No, I just. Did you mangle? I mean, you mangled English language. And he's okay. trying really Thank hard. You. That was beautiful. This are you embarrassed? His attempt at speaking correctly. <laughs> I, I, at this point, no. I'm just no, but I mean, are you embarrassed by the way you speak? I don't think about it. You're a college student, <laughs> obviously. I don't think when he dog. <laughs> <laughs> whatever comes out, I'm happy. <laughs> I, just, I just open my mouth and whatever comes out, comes out. I can't believe you thought about being a disc jockey. That's the I, I never thought about that. You, you, just, said you that. told me you wanted to be on the yeah, air. You were doing a radio show in college. Because I, I, I did it just for the to try it out. I never, yeah. said, I, I never ever said I wanted to be a disc but jockey. But why, why, why did you volunteer? With Gangy. Why do you volunteer at the radio station then if you don't want to be a disc jockey? Uh, obviously, the show has a lot more to do with. <laughs> with what? Other things than just being a disc jockey. Like what? what? I can get two chicks. Is that what it is? Oh, do you get girls? Yeah, yeah man. Really? really? But you don't even get girls. Too. He does? Oh. Who does he get? I don't know, but he's, you know, we'll have women in here that are, like, pretty hot looking. Then also now here, like, oh, yeah, you know, Gorilla's taking her out to lunch. I wish I could remember really? incidents. But even, like who? Even, even, even girls that. that we don't have in here, like girls that we run into, we'll go to a club or we'll go out and do an appearance. And then, yeah, Gorilla, you know, took her out for lunch or something. Is that right, Gorilla? Do you get well, anything off that well, or are you I, just taking them out for lunch? Uh, well, I, I, when I was with my girlfriend, I was always faithful, but... Oh, here he has he to tell us that. Faithful. No, but faithful. no. It's, honestly, I, I do okay for myself. <laughs> I do okay for myself. Okay well, he was the only girlfriend. one who got a girl at the new the uh, pay per view. Why do you Why do you have to say something like this? I do okay for myself. Why can't you just say I do okay? Why do you have to add in for myself? For well, myself. Well. Yeah. <laughs> How would you know who I was talking about? What? Uh, Nicole Bass is on the phone. Oh, is she? <laughs> <laughs> you mean dear Maverick? Hey, Nicole. Good morning. How are you? Good. How you doing? Good. Now, this is a woman, everybody. Hey, Nicole. Would you... <laughs> Here we go. Gorilla, when Gorilla came to my bodybuilding show and was uh, taping for the E! Channel... Yes. Um, he kept hitting on all the women bodybuilders there. Would you be willing to take DNA testing? Of course. You will? Of course. And it oh, will wonderful. All right, so we're going to hook you up. I'll even introduce you to my gynecologist. <laughs> <laughs> so there is no truth to the rumor that you have both sets of organs. There's no truth to the rumor, Robin. Come on, Robin. I'll show you if you show me yours. Were you ever a nurse? Do, I mean, did a nurse ever have you remove your penis? Did what? Did, were you were her, born her hermaphrodite? No, were you? No, no, no. Don't get insulted. Gorilla was saying he met someone that said you were born a hermaphrodite. Everybody's jealous of me. Right. Can you send me a used tampon? Oh. Oh. But how can you tell it's hers? Because guy in the note was saying, how come you've never had a baby? How come I, I'm cured of kids? I have a stepdaughter. I'm cured. Oh, really? You don't want kids? No more kids. All right, I'm going to get that DNA testing going. All right, Nicole? All right. All right. <laughs> Howard, will you do DNA testing? Oh, please. Everyone knows I'm a man. Oh, come on. All right. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Nicole. All right. Thank you. Have a good one. <laughs> I'm walking into the building with Gorilla. I go, what? I can't hear you. I, I, I can't understand what you're saying. And then all of a sudden, I, I step in the vomit. You didn't step in it. Oh, I just missed it. I said, well, if you see vomit and you see I can't hear you, why don't you just like say something loud? You know, you're a retard, girl. You're not going to Cleveland with us, are you? No, I've been carrying on all week. Well, that's the reason why. No one can hear what you're saying when you're carrying no. on. He answers the phone. Our program director calls. He goes, hi, this is Gorilla. You know the guy that's not going to Cleveland? I did a joke, and he's like... Totally like it's a joke. he's totally you know he's a joke. <laughs> it's like it's a joke. You don't even need me in here. What? You don't even need me in here. You don't even need me. We don't have any seats. We don't have enough. Room. All right, no, it's no problem. All right, no. I'm, whoa, whoa. I'm, take it I'm, easy. I'm very glad to be here. Dandy oh, doesn't right. want to go. Oh. You could take his place. Yeah, you can watch Madonna's sister. <laughs> I can be friends right, with Madonna's that. sister. <laughs>
What? I could be friends with Madonna's sister. Oh. Gary's now doing an impression of Gorilla. <laughs> it's easy. Which is really annoying me. <laughs> no, I, I've tried not to annoy you. <laughs> oh, I both. I will annoy you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Gorilla. Very good. You're fired. <laughs> Why didn't you yell out that there was vomit on the ground? Steve, come back. Yeah, really. What's wrong with you? You see vomit on the ground when I'm in, walking in. In, in, in my you know, defense. In my it's defense. not that we do anything like I'm the boss or anything. No, I'm no. just saying, if I saw vomit on the ground, I'd say, hey, gorilla. I saw it. I walked out and I saw it. And I said, I, I, better, I, said, I better tell him. And I then as soon as you get out, you're like, what? Huh? What? What? And I said, no, 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 no. Gorilla, I, gorilla, let me tell you something. I've got pretty good hearing. I'll tell you why. I could lay in bed in my house and hear the baby crying with 65 doors closed. I hear everything. Believe me, I've got good hearing. That's one of the things God blessed me with. I might not, have, I might not be pretty to look at. <laughs> I might never have gotten laid when I was younger. But one of the things God gave me, gave me a head of hair, which you don't have, and he gave me hearing. I can hear anything. And all I know is, you, you know, you see vomit laying on the ground as a friend. I don't even mean as someone you, um, I, that you I work for. I tried to tell you. I, I'm sorry. No, you go like this. I can't understand that. Say, hey, dude, there's vomit on the ground. Don't step in it. Say, let me hear you say clearly. Hey, dude, there's vomit on the ground. Don't step in it. That's how you talk, like a human being. Now, you don't mumble. What are you trying to show me how tired you are? No, not at all. <laughs> you ever hear of a guy named Sir Walter Raleigh? No. Yes, let me tell you a story. You never heard of him. You no. never heard of Sir Walter Raleigh? No. I'm going to tell you a story about him. When a woman was walking in the street, oh, and he saw a pile, when he saw a pile of vomit, he would put his coat over it. <laughs> you should lie down in that vomit and let me step on you. <laughs> Sir Walter Grillo. <laughs> Sir Gorillo. I'll lay down in the vomit. Wait a minute. You know, the streets of New York are so disgusting. that If you see vomit, it's, it's perfectly fine etiquette to yell out, Hey, there's vomit. Yeah, you don't have to be polite at that moment and not yell. Yeah. I'd rather point, yeah. you yell than he step in vomit. Yeah. <laughs> well, just rip out the few remaining hairs on your head and throw it on the vomit so that I, so that it'll... It's not enough. <laughs> it's not enough. Yeah, that won't cover anything. <laughs> <laughs> what, are you wearing a hat today? Let me see. Take off your hat. Let me see what's it's doing on oh. your head. My hat. Oh, boy. Whoa, what? No, he's got hair. <laughs> he was explaining the process Someone's he had done him. the other day in the elevator to someone. It's really attractive hair. Well, it's I his have, hair. I have pubic hairs that look nicer than it that. It looks like that's what they transplanted. Whose hair is that on his head? <laughs> the same color, right? <laughs> you know what's funny, too? Because like the hair that he's growing his hair long, yeah. but the hair on the top of his head doesn't grow long. Yeah. So he's got all short hair on top. Hold on. And he, and the, I, I've been wanting to cut it, but I don't have the money to go to the barber. <laughs> he is. You got to yeah. Howard, you have no idea how poor he is. Poor sir. Yeah. Maybe you ought to quit this job and go get a real job at this point. You're not getting paid here. I uh, love you. I think you're great. But this is crazy. You don't have money for a haircut? He, he didn't have money to eat. I don't, I don't want to go and bother my parents. Oh. So I, they, they like... You're his new parent. They can't I don't, want, I don't want money. I just... I know... I go through. See how you're talking go, loud now? I go That's through, how you talk when you see vomit. I go through dry spells. Sometimes I don't have money for a long time, and then it all comes in, and I'm good for like a month and a half, and then it goes for like two or three weeks, and then comes back in. It just it it comes. It's like the water. water. It yeah, it, it comes and goes. Comes and goes. <laughs> sometimes I have it, and sometimes I don't. And, and honestly, that's the way it's been my whole life. I, like, <laughs> so, you know, so you're kidding. I, I, I just that's the way I just I, I refuse to like. I don't refuse. I just don't want to. We had me. Nathan's delivered here the other day. He took five Nathan's hamburgers home in a bag. Really? In a bag. Uh, no, I would have. Like but he, he takes I, stuff home like if like if somebody sends it as a goof. Somebody sends me toothpaste or underarm deodorant. Yeah. Ooh, I could use this. Well, give him all the stuff then. I do. Well, well, why is everything. he taking me to lunch if he has no money? You should have got your hair cut with that money. Yeah. Well, you've taken me out a couple times. That's I like all to pay right, Gorilla. She's I'm not, not looking in, for a payback. In, uh, bad straits. Well, I, that, that's when I had money. So when I have money, I like. And you know what happens, like little dude? When uh, when you start when you start eating badly, your hair falls out. <laughs> oh. Your well, nutrition is me. There's the answer. Hey, I'm not kidding. Somebody sent a piggy bank yesterday. Yeah. That had about. Probably forty cents and pennies in it. It was, it was, and, and he took it. He said, "I could, I could use this." <laughs> I took it because it was a, it was a joke. Everything's a like, joke. Meanwhile, you took it. <laughs> I'm not gonna bust it open and use the pennies. 
Uh, okay, what do you need? Do you want 20? Here. No, 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 no. You want to go get a, get a haircut because you're uh, embarrassing me. <laughs> I'm serious. I thought you were just growing your hair long. I didn't know this was... No, I haven't got one for since... A haircut. I, I haven't got one since March. You want to go out? Here's a hundred bucks. Here, take a hundred bucks. No, no, please. Here, give me that. Give it to him. Just, I can't stand them. Get out of here. Go to Edward Tricomi or something. Go to Tricomi. I'm not looking for that. I, I'll be Just do me a favor. Now you got $100. Do me a favor. Next time you see vomit on the street, <laughs> just warn me. Maybe he's too I weak. I tried to warn you. I'm sorry if you did not hear me. All right, me. thank you. Try and talk loud. Okay. And, and in an intelligent voice. Hey, hey, you did good on the telethon today. Now get out of here. Don't step in the vomit. Don't step in the vomit. Can you say it now? Let me hear you yell out, don't step in the vomit. Don't step in the vomit. Good. Very good. Nitwit. Oh. Never saw, you know, there's something wrong with him. Every. <laughs> something wrong with that guy. He's funny, though. He sure He's so is. so funny. The other day, you know, talking about a job, I said to him, you know, because he told me he was looking for a job. I said, have you found anything? He said, well, I put out a few... Beely? Well, I talked to a few people, because he couldn't think of the word feeler. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I put out a few. I talked to a few people. <laughs> feelings. Really? Feelings. <laughs> Nothing more than feelings. Hey, he's a weird guy. We got we got a whole slew of interns, and now we got all new interns. And, and Gorilla's been here four or five years, and he doesn't associate with the new interns. Right, because he feels that he's one of the other guys. Yeah. He's not like those. They Meanwhile, he's exactly like those guys. Then we got some gay intern back there. Yes, he's going to be a star. I yeah, think. I, you got to get him in. Where is he? Uh, he doesn't come until eleven, but we'll get him in early one day. Yeah. He's uh. He's out. Yeah. Yeah, he told me he wants to come well, on the air. Well, oh. we really, we really have a, uh, we have um, a gay intern, uh, a black intern, a Canadian intern, and an intern from like Pennsylvania. Yeah, what's going on with it's our like show? It's like the United Nations. It really is. I walk back there. I'm nervous to say anything. <laughs> you don't know who you might have. <laughs> I'm offending like three or four people in a group. Try and get some regular people. Excuse me? Yeah. Regular people. <laughs> what are regular people? Who knows? Just Please tell me. People like me. We, we employ everybody on this show. I know. We are EOE. EOEO. -E -O -E -O. E -E -O. <laughs> Where's Gorilla? Is he here? Uh, no, uh, I can't here. sit on this anymore. i got to tell you okay. anyway. I don't give a crap. Well, he'll walk in in the middle of this. All right, listen to this. So, Gorilla is our intern. Our six-year intern. Yeah, and since you're an intern, you don't really make any money. So he went out and got a job with Grandma Sylvia's funeral, an acting job. He's actually in the play Grandma Sylvia's funeral. Mm -hmm. So evidently, Gorilla's been running around asking for more money over Grandma Sylvia's, which I encourage because let them pay him. Why sure. should we pay him? We don't have any money. Right. You know and what I mean? He's promoting them. Because with our show, anybody, you know, we're the ones who get the money. Yeah. Not Gorilla. We can't let Gorilla <laughs> we, have any money. Right. <laughs> And this would be, it would set bad precedent because then all the interns would want money. Everybody just stay here for six years until we pay it. Right. <laughs> so anyway, uh, so Gorilla makes his living being in this Grandma Sylvia's funeral. So every night, I guess, they make an evaluation of all their people. It's something that they do at Broadway plays. I didn't know this. They actually write down what went on for the day, what actors did what, and, and all this stuff. Yeah, I understand there are show notes, and every once in a while you're getting together and meetings and the director or somebody gives you a, some pointers yeah if somebody's absent from the play they t they tell you why who's taking the notes like for example uh probably like one of the producers it's like uh, here's a guy who wasn't was absent because he's on vacation they make a notation of that uh they they write down for example they had a rehearsal from 6:45 to seven o'clock with the following people uh they make a note that the backstage air conditioning needed to be fixed it was very warm and hot on stage so they had to fix that and then here's here's a production note Steve Grillo was asleep during the show on Thursday, 6-19. So he slept during the show, like on stage. While he was working. Can you imagine you go to a play and one of the actors uh, is sleeping uh, on stage? I think that's clever. Well, Howard, he's in the audience a lot, too, because it's one of those participation plays. Yeah. But he's supposed to be in the audience being his character. Right. Not sleeping. Right. Well, wait a minute. That day his character was sleeping. Right, his character fired. fell asleep. It's an argument to be made. Uh, that's a tough one. All right. So, okay, you say, all right. Now, wait a second. Here, okay. June 18th, 1997. I'm reading from the production notes. Grandma Sylvia's funeral. Uh, during the matinee, Steve Gorilla fell asleep during the show. Oh, wait a minute. All right. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait. I'm not done yet. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Once I could defend. All right. This is June 14th, okay? Mm-hmm. Uh, Steve Grillo was not in the building for his entrance. Oh. Wait, wait, wait. One more money. Yeah, wait, wait, wait. wait. <laughs> June 6th. Oh, my God. Steve Grillo missed rehearsal again. 
Uh, will someone reach out to him and get him to rehearsal, please? Ooh. Jeez. Uh, here, here's May 22nd. Steve Grillo slept through the eulogy yesterday. Oh, That's really? the big eulogy oh, scene where the... Yes. <laughs> yeah. That's the climax, right? Yeah. <laughs> right. Uh, April 16th. Steve Grillo asleep during most of the eulogy. Oh, man. <laughs> that seems to be his problem area. <laughs> that eulogy killed him. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, this ready? is really sad. January 30th. And he has the nerve to ask them for more money? Yeah. Steve Grillo left during Act 2. He was not back to do his bit during Gary's song. Whatever Gary's song is. It's pretty funny. God, I mean, and they're looking for him. And he's not even in the building. <laughs> listen, to this. listen to this one. This is the best one, okay? Oh, man. December 21st, 1996. Steve Grillo slept during Act 3 and missed his first lines. The audience woke him up. Oh, <laughs> this must be some play. Now I want to see it. Now i got to go. i got to see one of these great Grillo episodes. Yeah. He'll probably stay awake when I go. <laughs> Let's see what else we got here. Uh, here's one. Uh, September 20th. Missing. Steve Grillo. Wow. <laughs> um... And he says he wants to be an actor. Well, yeah. Yeah, he wants to be an actor. It's fun. You don't have to really do he that much. Sleep. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Steve Grillo late for entrance on uh, March 30th, uh, April 5th. And Steve Grillo late for a call. They don't fire him after all this? No, they need him because he gets free plugs on our show. Good Lord. Yeah. This is sad. The actress playing Grandma Sylvia was more active oh. than, uh, than Steve. Where is he? I don't know, man. i got to get a hold of him. He's probably sleeping. Yeah. <laughs> How come we can't find Steve Grillo? He's absent. Yeah. He's not in the building. All right, I'll tell you what. I'll take a commercial break. When he gets in here, then I'll bust his balls uh, when he we come back. He didn't know you were going to do this. No. I hope he's not listening. No, I just got a hold of this. So I'll uh, bust his balls when we get back. Yeah, because nobody at Grandma and Sylvia's knows how to do it. Uh, Steve the Grillo, Gorillo. You can't possibly... Be proud of your track record at Grandma Sylvia's funeral. You're asking, I hear you're going around asking for more money, and I, you're sleeping I, through your performance. I haven't, I haven't asked for money. Oh, really? I, I came back. Oh, really? Yeah, which is almost a year. What's right? your, what, your record looks terrible. You sleep during the performances? Well, not for nothing, but... It, it, not for nothing. Not for nothing. <laughs> not for I have nothing. a problem starting these things out. Um, right. My character does absolutely nothing the first three acts. Right. I, I sit in the audience. And there's, there's no the audience has to wake you up? No. I, I, that did happen once. Yeah. And I, I swear to God, I was, I was awake for the entire show. Right. And I was just, I literally was just trying to think of a different way to say my lines. Right. And I had my eyes closed and I was just thinking and I actually just dozed off for a second. Right. But that's true. That did happen. Wow. But, you know, it's not like I'm the... You've you got about at least 10 offenses of you sleeping during the performance. And then just not Trust showing me, not, up. That, that's not true. That's not true at all. I've never, ever missed a call. I, late I've for been, call on uh, late, April 5th. I've been late that's five. Cool. I haven't been late for more than 10 minutes, okay? I've always been gone out when I'm supposed to, and I've never, ever, Late ever, for call for entrance. Uh, never missed an entrance. Never, ever missed an entrance. here you did miss an entrance. Never missed an entrance. And what about not in the building missing? That's he didn't not true. do his lines in the I'm going to tell you something. Uh, well, the, the, the one that they were talking about is like when I when I wasn't there is because there's a point in the play where I have to go and I like I get beat up by my father because I'm smoking a joint. Mm -hmm. Okay, and they're supposed to give me prop joints. They didn't give me a prop joint, so I'm running around looking for other cast members that smoke, trying to find tobacco so I can roll a fake joint. Okay, the the Steve the, Gorillo sleeping during Act Three and missed his first lines. The audience woke him up. That happened on the December 21st, 1996. January 30th, Steve Gorilla left during Act 2. He was not back to do his bit during Gary's song. That's not true. I, that's I, true? You're not allowed to go to the bathroom? But, well, dude, but you got to be there when play. No, 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 I, But I understand that. But there, there's, dude, it's a play. <laughs> so you're telling me this is a lie? There, there's no... There's you were not back for your... There's No, that is a lie. You're saying that's a lie? Yeah. You okay. didn't miss your line. Steve Gorilla was asleep during most of the eulogy. This is uh, April 16th. Uh, May 22nd, Steve Gorillo slept through the eulogy yesterday. June 6th, Steve Gorillo missed rehearsal again. Will someone reach out to him and get him to rehearsal, Now, I've, I've already had a discussion with the producer about that. But why did you miss rehearsal? You say you never uh, missed your entrance? No. June 14th, 1997, Steve Gorillo was not in the building for his entrance. Not true. 
I'll stand by. I, dude, I've never ever missed my entrance. I have one thing to you make sure. Is there a woman for. who lays in a coffin through the whole show as Grandma Sylvia? No, there is not. No. Mm -hmm. Uh, June 18th, 1997, matinee. Steve Gorilla fell asleep during the show. You denying all these? Um, no. Steve Gorilla was asleep again during the show on Thursday, uh, June 19th. So not all on of them. And on and on and on. Not all of them are, uh, actually me falling asleep, but I'm sitting there with some. First of all, my character is supposed to be stoned. Right. Thank you. Okay. Such a compliment to you, fellow actors. Yeah. Imagine. <laughs> what a relaxed performer. He's dying to be an actor. I've done over 500 shows of the same thing over and over. Well, maybe it's paying my rent. No, he's got to do that because we're not going to pay him. But, you know, it's a disservice it. to the show. <laughs> I'm working three have no idea if he was rolling the eyes. <laughs> <laughs> it's, 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 I, I'm trying, you know what I'm saying? I can't drink coffee or tea anymore because I have... I have an ulcer. I can't. I can't even do that anymore. You have an ulcer. How old are you? Twenty-four. Twenty-four. You have an ulcer. I, I'm pretty sure. I have really. A, I found some blood. In your in what stool? Oh. Yeah. That doesn't mean you have an ulcer, dude. Dude, my stomach is on fire twenty-four hours a day. Really, man. Yeah. Have you gone to a doctor? No. Maybe it's because you're twenty-four and you're working for free still. Uh, maybe. <laughs> I, I I can't even have a. And the one time I did get coffee yeah. to try to keep like I I. But any time that you don't see me sleeping is because. I'm, I'm drinking some type of coffee, and then I sit there, <laughs> doubled over in pain. This is this guy's life. Show. Why don't you get some sleep? Where? When? I, I don't know. Why are you partying? Every morning you come in, you tell me you've been out at the club all night partying. Well, no. <laughs> well, I have the body. I have the Jägermeister. And he doesn't sleep during these parties. Why do you drink? For them. If you're, if, you're, if you're having an ulcer, I've why do you drink? i significantly on my Why do you have, why do you um, smoke pot? That has nothing to do with an ulcer. Oh, no, huh? Uh, actually, that makes my stomach feel better. Oh, it does. And it yes. helps my glaucoma. All right. But it makes me fall asleep. Uh, anytime you ever feel nauseous and you smoke pot, you feel better. Oh, I see. It's like okay. a cancer. Yeah, 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 okay. <laughs> and uh, listen, let me tell you something. Mm -hmm. All drugs are stimuli of one or another that put you out of touch with your body. If your body is that out of whack, why would you take any stimulants? Why would you take any type of drug, whether it be pot or drinking or anything? And why wouldn't you get some sleep instead of going out partying every night? That's what, I mean, if I was, you know, that's just common sense, dude. I mean, like, if I went out even one night during the week, I couldn't even function on this show. He can't give up the life. See, the reason he doesn't oh. is because the partying is so good. Oh, oh I see. <laughs> oh, that's the Benny, huh? Well, going to the parties? Part of it. And what do you do at these parties? He you know what? Brad Pitt. Oh, that's right. I met Brad Bid. <laughs> and what, what good did that get you? Meeting Brad cool Bid. Dude. What did he, what, how did it, how did it help no your idea. career? Maybe not, not right now, but... Right. Do you have his number or something? No, but you know what I'm saying? Like, you just meet somebody and you know them, and next time you see them, you talk to them. It's, it's helped me out a lot. I've met, met a lot. I've met like, a lot. who helped you? Ed Burns. <laughs> Ed Burns is a jerk. Okay. Ed Burns is going nowhere. The director, you mean, Ed Burns? Yeah. He's going nowhere. The movies blow. Okay? Don't get caught up in that. He's not going to do anything for you. Never said he was. But I, I don't know, dude. I, I just know what. I, I, I don't Ed do... Ed Burns is the hype. I, I, don't, I, I don't... I hung out with Mickey Rourke. I hung out with Mickey... Mickey Rourke. Mickey. Rourke, Mickey. <laughs> I'm working with Mickey Rourke. <laughs> I... You need to be disciplined. Maybe I'll have Elena Beastie throw him yeah, in a diaper. Maybe he needs a diaper. Maybe you need to make it a What's diaper. What's that other guy you told me about that you spent a couple of days with? Who'd you hang out with? I don't know. Who are you talking about? I the never guy who was in The Lawnmower Man? Oh, Dom oh, yeah. Vahey. I, no. I, I but you know what? I networked with Dom Vahey. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff Vahey. Yeah. I never even heard of him. <laughs> Jeff Vahey. We discussed Dagnig. He's so cool. You're on a course to absolutely nowhere. <laughs> 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 what is it, Baba Booey? So, what? Complete and utter schmoozer. There's oh, no yeah. doubt about it. But right. it's, 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 there's a few things it, that ever, I do well. Did it ever help you? No, no. I'm saying something because, like, all of a sudden, we go out to L.A. to do a show, or somebody comes here to do the show. And the next thing you know, Grillo's out in L.A. and him and John Stamos are like hanging out. He's going yeah. to barbecue at John Stamos's house. And well, but, but what did it get him? John Stamos isn't working. What are you going to do? I, I'm he, worked at, he worked in private parts. Yeah, that was his last role. <laughs> What 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 I'm, just, I'm saying there's few things what that you do well, is going to do and networking is one of them. But, but, but you network to nowhere. I mean, what has it but ever benefited? I I've I've met plenty of people. Yeah, but what has it ever done for you? I've gotten appearances out of it. You're Cato Kalin. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I mean, I mean, you've networked to what end? Doesn't 
parlay into any work. Yeah. But it does. It's like, okay. If you, I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, I, I've gotten a parent who's through you it. you got work, but you, the work you have, you're asleep. <laughs> <laughs> but did, did you ever get any acting roles? Did Jeff Behe put you in lawn mowing? Um, no, but it did get Jeff me. It, it did get me. Um, it got me. It helped me get the. It helped uh, me get the. Um, no. You know who's a big fan of the show? Who? That's what he's always saying. Yeah. You know, he comes from these parties. Brad Bid. Brad Bid. Oh, yeah? You got no, Brad Pitt to come no. on the show? No. <laughs> Did you get a job from it? No. Did you stay up all night? Yeah, I got an Ulza. I stood next to nope. Ed Berg. If you were falling asleep during the show, <laughs> I stood next to him. Every time you do that, he rolls his eyes. He wants to slug you. I stood next to Ed Burns. This is not helping my elder. Don't say Ed Burns. I'm getting very close to him. You're going to ruin it. It's a very delicate negotiation. Ed Burns. Ed Burns. <laughs> I met him for two he's seconds. My, he's my idol. You oh, know please. he went to Hunter. Is that what he <laughs> said? He said Ed Burns is his idol? I why is say he's my idol. Why is Ed Burns your idol? I didn't say he's my idol. I said I could admire him for someone who... <laughs> admire I, I admire him. I, I can admire him for someone who just got up and did everything on his own. He went out and he wrote the script on his own. He got the equipment on his own. And he produced a well, movie. Well, that's pretty much how you're going to get a movie now. <laughs> he admires him for being a graduate of the worst school in no, the United States. No, he didn't right. graduate. A Honda. He didn't My, graduate. He's like mm. me. He didn't graduate. Ed Burns. What's the name of the movie he did? The Brothers McMullen. And she's yeah. the one. And she's the one. <laughs> she's the one. Ow. How pretentious. She's the one. <laughs> she's the one what? For Ed Burns? Yes. She's the one. Who saw that movie? Three people? Not me. Yeah. <laughs> I, I did a but video I and I'm sorry him. I did. So you're staying, so the, so the big work that you get, which is Grandma Sylvia, which is a nice little thing, yeah. you're falling asleep during because you're out networking with guys who are doing nothing for you. So why don't you skip the networking and just show up at the uh, Grandma Sylvia and do, do a great job there? I do do. And be alert. I do do. I do do. I do do a good job. I do do do. I don't know, man. It just seems to me you should organize your life, but I guess you, you dig the party in and stuff. And Don't tell me you have an ulcer. It's so cool when Brad Pitt knows who you are. I got an ulcer. When am I supposed to sleep? <laughs> well, I mean, you skip going out to parties and you'll sleep all you want. I'm so I, hungover. I, I swear, I think I'm so hungover. <laughs> I, think that he thinks, I think that I'm partially responsible for that ulcer. I think he gets the ulcer from... The mornings here. Uh -huh. I, I, I never said that. He's not that. gonna say that. I, I, no, no, no. But, but look, every everybody has stress in their life, and it all, you know, comes from all different places. Howard, I'm not blaming. I think the stress of losing it. your hair is probably giving that you. That has open. a lot to do with it. Right. Yeah. There's yeah. nothing more intense than in the morning. Sometimes I'm going out the door to take a leak or something, and Grillo carrying your water or your food. Mm. You would uh, think that he was working the Brinks truck. Right. I mean, he's well, he 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 like the Holy Grail. He doesn't he say hello. No he way. He just, it's well, focused. the guy's focused. I'll give him that. He is so focused. <laughs> I'm microwaving the get back. You, you gave I me one important I'm, job to do, and I want to make sure I it's done. I realize I'm not that intelligent, so I better get this right. I got the water. <laughs> There's a way. If this water gets golden, there's a bigger <laughs> hole in my stomach. <laughs> so you, so did you go to a doctor to find out if you have an ulcer? No. No. Oh, oh wait, he's self-diagnosed? Yeah. Well, he's got some I, blood I, in his stool and he thinks he has an ulcer. It's not just one. Red, it's not ulcer blood. Wait, you, found, you found blood in your stool and you just ignored what? it? You haven't been to a doctor? You probably have a, um, a hemorrhoid. Not a no, good thing. Or not. colitis or something. Uh, right, is, Robin? The, is it red? Um... It just, uh, you want my diagnosis? I can't talk about it's not, this. It's not an ulcer. Yeah, blood. Okay, then well, then you know what he's got? He's tearing something when he goes too hard. He's got diverticulitis. It's still a tear when you nurse, go too hard. Nurse, I don't die. Nurse, <laughs> don't challenge my diagnosis. All right, doctor. What, diverticulitis, <laughs> nurse. What is that? <laughs> what? That's when the um, wall of your intestine catches a lot of food. Yep. Mm. You're catching food. In your wallet. And, food. and he's gozing blood. <laughs> don't you think you feel better to find out that you don't have an ulcer? He's going to get I ulcer. Something's wrong. I, I just been um, taking like a lot of Zantax and Pepsi AC and stuff. Zantax? Zantax. 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 It's, a new, Zantax. it's a new stomach medicine. But I've had, it's better I've had, than dumb. I've had, I've had stomach problems since I was in seventh grade. Is I that right? Do? My doctor prescribed me um doctor. tagaments when I was... My doctor. Um, when I was 12 years old. What are tagaments? Isn't that like Rolaids? No, it's... it's no, it, 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 now it's over the counter, but um it's pres it was prescription like 10 years ago. He's a very nervous wrong. kid, I'll tell yeah. you. Yeah. He's very wound. Oh, yeah. I'll say.
I'm Rev Dyson. I can't take it. <laughs> I'm Rev Dyson. I'm Rev Dyson. <laughs> Meanwhile, he's so on diet that he falls asleep during work. That's pretty relaxed, if you ask me. Really? Imagine having a job and you, you know, you're in a play and the audience has to wake you up to get on stage. <laughs> yeah, and, and, come on, man. That's pretty. That happened once, and it's happened to other people on the play too. Come on, too. they talked that's three right. or four times about you being asleep. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, dude. Well, three or four? How about seven or eight? <laughs> Dude. Dude. And as far as being late, like, have you ever been to a play? If somebody misses no, a No, that, that, I've never. I've, that I've never done. No, I don't stand by that. Here that, that is a lie. That is not true. You're I've calling never, this person a liar? Whoever it is, yes, All absolutely. Right. Okay. I've never, ever That's... walked in that play and said that mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I missed my well, well, How could they make something like that up, that you uh, were late for your cue? Dude, he was looking for a cigarette <laughs> because he, he needed Vibersy. to pretend to roll a joint. Oh, that's right. they got to give me my big cigarette. I've, I've, I had this stupid thing on the list for uh, supplies for two weeks, and no one did anything about it. All right. I've had... My, I, I need shoes for the play, okay? I've ruined one pair of my own shoes that I won't buy another pair for that play. So go out and barefoot. Dude, I've been wearing sandals. I've been wearing sneakers. They don't do anything. All right. I need a pair of eight and a half black shoes for this play, and they won't buy them. Don't air your dirty laundry here. It's funny because John says in the play he's a coke dealer, and Grillo may be the only coke dealer ever. I'm not a coke asleep. dealer. <laughs> yeah. I'm not a coke dealer. I'm you a pothead. Coke. Oh, you're a pothead. All right. Well, then it's the character. There you go. All right. And he it would be very like much like my character to fall asleep during the play. That's what I thought he was doing. He's like, hey, I can sleep I mean, now, so I can still party. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I'm like a Volt Brando. <laughs> yeah.